What's up, Scott Welcome here with the Magic Nation Creation Films. And today, well, we are talking about this guy right here. This is the Red V Raptor, or Raptor as some people are like to call it. Um, it's a it's an 8K beast, and uh, yeah, we're live to chat with you and, and basically to, well, kind of give you the rundown of, of everything that I've learned. I've only had it for literally just a few days now. Um, and uh, I have been like shooting like crazy with it and just kind of learning the ins and outs of it. So, I mean, if you have any quick, wow, this is already off to a great start here. At least we're not dropping. Oh, we are dropping frames. Of course we are. Why, why, why wouldn't we? Um, so welcome stoked Nick. Hello. Uh, I mean, if you have any questions about it, throw them out there in the chat. Just, just, I mean, don't wait for a good opportunity. Just throw them out there. I'll, I'll tend to, uh, to run through it as, as much as I can. Uh, I'll answer anything that I can answer. Um, we have uh, overhead views, so we can go through menus if anybody wants to see menus. We even have it hooked up here. So if we want to, uh, you know, play a little bit with it. I don't know really what we could do in a live stream with my wonderful internet. I mean, it's already, look at, look at my posterization. Isn't that cool? It's, it's, I mean, it's not doing it here. It's not doing it here. But hey, if you use an A7S III in the uh, ATM Extreme, ATM Extreme, yeah, not good, not good. Uh, V-Raptor, same sensor as Helium. No, it is not. This is an all new sensor. Uh, I know that uh, Marquez, uh, MKBHD, just put out his video and he said that it was a monstro. It is not a monstro. This is a new sensor. It is, it's not, I wouldn't call it a completely brand new design, although it is a completely new sensor. It's everything they've learned. It's the culmination of, of years and years and years of making, I mean, they've been, they've been doing it for a long time now, since 2006, I think, uh, way back when. Uh, so, I mean, they have a few few years under their belt and they're they're learning. So what they learned was Monstro was about the best that they got uh, to that date, but more, 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 more. So it has a faster sensor readout. It's, I believe it's a little faster, probably it's a, it's a little more than twice as fast as Monstro. It has the same uh, pixel dimensions and resolution, but it is definitely a different sensor. Um, Ali says, uh, there she is. Yes, yes, she is very pretty too. I, I really dig in her. And I tried three nights in a row to get a patented Scott Balcom cigar in the sun shot. I mean, what else are you going to shoot 8K 120 frames per second at? Tonight, we got it. We finally got it. We had a great sunset. We had some beautiful sun just streaming in there and an 8K 120, it looks fantastic. And, and while we're going here, oh, hey bro, <laughs> Jared's in the house. Um, I do wanna uh, do a quick shout out to Breakthrough Technologies for loaning me this because that is, I mean, it's, it's, it's unreal to uh, even think of it. Uh, somebody would loan something like this to me, but Breakthrough, great stuff. There's the, the new PL mount for RF with variable NDs. I've been using the variable NDs for a while. It's pretty impressive, but I really did want to send a public thank you to uh, Graham as well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. MKBD HD said that and it threw me off. Yeah, it is definitely not um, uh, all new. Um, hey, David, uh, they're uh, really grown from the early 2000s. <laughs> The early 2000s, yes, thank you for making me feel old. Uh, new outrigger handle, it, it is not a new one. Uh, Graham, Graham is a tinkerer, uh, so he, he took his Komodo and uh, spray painted it white, which or I guess he, I guess he, I don't know, he, he did a really good job. It's, it's pretty close, but it's a good durable finish. It looks really nice on here. I mean, Jared, you might as well go ahead and make a Stormtrooper outrigger. You, you know people want it. Um, how quiet is it? It's a good question. Um, let me, let me turn off my air conditioner, which is, I mean, it literally sounds like it's making chipped ice up there. All right. So I don't know if we'll be able to determine. It's running right now. So let me give a room baseline. And then let me put it right up to the microphone. 
mean, that's about the best test I can do for that. It's, it's, um, it's a little bit louder, I would say, than Komodo, but not really. It's, it's, it's got a, it's got a deeper tone to it. It's not, it's not, it, well, it's a bigger fan, which you can see right here. Uh, it's a much bigger fan than Komodo, which is a little bit smaller and th that blue. Um, uh, it, it will crank up. Uh, I, I mean, it was 97 degrees the other day when I was out there with it. It will crank up the fan, but you can uh, change the cooling like DSMC 2, which is here for reference. Um, I, I just brought them all out because, I mean, that's, there's three reds on a table. How cool is that? Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, what's up with the hand grip? Is that just, oh, no, it did. Yeah, uh, I, I really think you should. Um, let's see. I've heard it's more sensitive than Gemini's dual native ISO. What are your thoughts about the noise on higher ISO? I don't know. I don't know that I would say it is more sensitive than Gemini. Uh, it, it is a very sensitive um, sensor. To me, it's, it's um, I think it's, it's ever so slightly more sensitive than Monstro, M maybe a little more than that. Monstro was, was pretty amazing. I saw some really good tests, even at 3200 ISO, which, I mean, it's raw, so it's, it's not really a thing, but yeah, you get it. At 3200 ISO, it's pretty manageable. I mean, at uh, at 8K, there's so many pixels that if you're going to 4K, oh, it's it's absolutely usable. And even at 8K, uh, it's it's pretty nice. Um, it does. Uh, I mean, with with all reds, because it is true raw, uh, you have to crop as you go down. As you get down into the like the the 2.4 to one 600 frames per second, which is very cool. It it does show its its it's uh it's noise because the noise is always the same size it's a pixel that is uh you know uh, flashing on and off as not as expected based upon heat and other conditions so when you crop in and then you blow it back up you're you're making the pixel bigger even though it's still the same size so the noise is there um when you're when you're cropped in but i mean you could do a quick denoise well only, only at the the really high, um, at, at 600 frames per second. At 240, I didn't think it was that bad actually at all. Uh, and I did some, um, I, I I did um, I did some uh, uh, today 4K or well, I did 5K widescreen, 240 frames a second uh, with with the Kessler Cine Shooter. Um, just having a little fun. I broke my Scotch glass. I, I kind of missed the. Uh, Scott, I was I was dropping ice in the uh, uh, the glass and I missed. I mean, yay for Scott Automation, Scott Automation. I like it. Uh, so yeah, I've got that. I, I've been shooting. I mean, honestly, what I've been doing, I, I I decided to do a live stream just to while I have it here to, and I'll probably do it again just to be able to answer questions for people if they have them about you know what does it look like, how does it operate, all that good stuff. Um, while I have it, because I have to return it. Sadly, until until Scotty gets his. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, Molly says that is quiet. Yep, yep. Don, hey Don, what's up in Alaska? Scott, yep. Um, let's see here. Uh, do we buy a few RF lens or go with the forty millimeter Air Signature Prime? What would you do? Honestly, my shooting styles don't necessarily represent the shooting styles that this was. Well, I, I can't even say that this was ultimately intended for. This is a, a, a an incredible cinema camera, but with their XL coming, um, that is for sure designed as a cinema camera. This, to me, is like a perfect Balkan cam. Because, I mean, this made me so happy having this tiny little camera to run around on wildlife. And this, I mean, there, there were just pictures of Jared the other day out in, um, in uh, Wyoming. And, you know, he, he's got the Raptor out there in a, Really cool rhino gray. That was that was kind of cool. But he's got a giant fifty to one thousand uh, Canon glass on it, and it's hilarious because you just see a little box at the end with this this giant lens. For me, um, I would probably go with the RF just because that's the way I shoot. Uh, I mean, with wildlife, I'm usually shooting literally on the seventy to two hundred or 
or the 150 to 600 Sigma. Um, but I, I was when I first played with this, it was a it was a 24 to 105 F4, I think RF. I think that's what it was. I, I don't remember. It was a, it was an F4, um, and the autofocus is is pretty phenomenal actually. Uh, it was it was nailing autofocus. We just sit there and just just that we were using the um, uh, the red control, um, which is amazing. Same people that did full control, which is amazing. Um, and we're just sitting there. We're just tapping on the screen. Focus here. Focus here. Focus here. And it was it was doing it. It was just boom boom. We were putting it in low light conditions. It was night. We were drinking, maybe smoking some cigars, but there was a lamp outside, so we used it. But that uh, that RF lens, I mean, it was snappy. I also noticed, and 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 I don't have a full explanation. The IS on the the uh, lens stabilization on the RF lens was working, or at least it appeared to, because I really don't think maybe my 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 cigar was keeping me all calm and and shake free. I don't know. It really felt like it was working, and that's not something I've experienced. I don't have any RF lenses. I have a lot of EF glass with, uh, with stabilization, and I, I don't notice it working on EF. So I don't know if that's working. If it is, that's what I noticed. It was kind of amazing. Uh, yeah, RF. Um, but cinema, sure. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Don says, looking like you've got a good collection of, well, yeah, I, I, I mean, that's the, that's the reason to do this. I mean, this is like, it's like uh, live stream candy. Yeah, live stream candy. Um, let's see here. Ollie says, uh, how is the balance um, while the V mount slightly off center? Oh, oh, I'm <laughs> I was looking at the lens mount. Oh, um, no, it's, it's, uh, you don't really notice it at all. Um, I'm guessing, I mean, it's a good question. I haven't noticed it. So my gut tells me, um, with the, on the side here, this is where the media is. So there's a, a slot in here. That's a lot of airspace. My guess is there's a lot of weight on this side of the camera because uh, it actually feels very balanced in the middle. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not quite a fair test because I do have power and um, an SDI hooked up. So, I mean, it's going to pull on a little bit. I mean, it really doesn't feel unbalanced at all. Um, and I, I don't have the wings. The wings are being sent to me so I can play with the, uh, the, the wide wings. Um, but, th I mean, this, this is a joy. This is, this is a joy. I mean, it, it's, it's heavy. I, it was funny. My, uh, my poor wife was, was shooting uh, me with my cigar at the sun, and I'm a little tall. I don't know if you know this or not, um, but she's a little short. And well, she's like up here and I can see after like a minute, she's like, just after, I mean, it, it, you can get some weight to this. This weighs four pounds, which if I'm not mistaken, the four pounds of, of this equals the four pound, well, four pounds would equal four pounds, but DSMC two without the module on the back, I believe was four pounds. So it's pretty comparable, except you just have everything built in. Plus you get two SDIs, that's kind of cool. Um, let's see here, do, 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 do. Uh, Jared says, uh, regarding balance with a handle on the right side, an offset with the V-mount actually creates it. There you go. So that's why it feels good, because I've only had it on the, on the side. Um, do, 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 do. Um, Marquez added a pin correction to the sensor bit. That's cool. Cause the, I know there were a lot of questions. People saw that. I mean, Marquez has a huge audience and he's, he has an unmistakably, um, enter, entertaining. I, I mean, you, you just get glued when he starts talking. So when he speaks, people listen, he's the new EF Hutton. Uh, so when he's talking about red and, and his, I don't know what does he have? 14 million. I don't know what he has now. He's got a lot. Um, yeah, people are going to question, oh, wait, it's the same? It's not the same as Monstro. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, Frosty says, I'm waiting for the update on order. Yeah, Jared, I know Frosty has uh, six, is that right? But he wanted black. He, he has six Raptors on order for a special project. Um, 
Let's see, Jared C. Tim, hey, Timmy. Uh, offset balance rocks with the outrigger. Yeah, I mean, it, it really, I mean, like I was saying, I'm holding it, but I do have the, uh, the handle on it as well. So that does, yeah, that works. Um, since the screen is on the right side of the camera, how is the single operator experience compared to Komodo's uh, top screen? So that has been an interesting one for me. And, and I, I can't really call it a negative. It's a negative for how I operate, especially now that I'm spoiled rotten. And I mean spoiled rotten with just being able to touch here. I don't ever, I don't ever monitor on here because I'm old and my eyes don't work that well. Uh, so I'm always have like the OC or the port keys on top of here. Um, but I mean, changing adjustments. I mean, I'm really good at changing adjustments with touchscreen. This over here, it's funny. I don't know how many times I've touched the screen. Uh, that that doesn't work, uh, by the way. Uh, it's not a touchscreen. Let me just flip it up and over. Let me just lay it carefully right here, so I can get a nice. Okay. <laughs> now this is posterizing. That's hilarious. Okay. So one of the first things I noticed was this handle. I usually have it. Well, you can see it right here. I usually have it in this angle because it just feels good in my hand that way. You can't do that with with V Raptor. Uh, it goes right across the screen. <laughs> um, but everything on here, so it's so if you remember on the side, I don't have it on my DSMC2, but they they had the, forget what they call it, but it was basically a little OLED display with controls so you could control the camera, get through the menu system, everything on the side. This is far, far easier than that. Um, and you can get around, so like, um, let me just zoom in here. There we go. So that's, I'm just making it shake, sorry about that. So like you have uh, all these quick buttons at the top, like frame rate, you just click on the frame rate and then you can just go up and down. I don't know how many times I've touched that screen, but and then you can just click okay here. You could collect or click select, which is right here in menu. So it looks very similar on this side to Komodo, but uh, it's not quite. Now, one of the interesting things that's really cool. So they have a lot of uh, these uh, menus set up already, but then they also have quick menus that you can set up yourself. User one, and that's user one. Um, so on here, you can actually choose Iris up and down. That's what I've programmed in here, but you can program your own. So when you first power it up, you're at this screen, I just hit the up arrow, and now I'm here. So now I can reach around the side, and I, I've kind of got my finger memory going on. That's a little vulgar. Um, of uh, just tapping the sides. So I just know, I pull it up and I, I can go tap Iris up and down only when I'm not on cinema glass. Um, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a cool, um, it's, it's a cool menu. The only thing I don't like about this menu and, and, and he's not gonna change it, I guarantee. You click on ISO. So to me, I should click the up arrow to go up in ISO. It's hard to read. Um, yeah, it's not gonna. Yeah, I wish I wish it would not be blown out like that. Sorry, uh, but it says ISO 500. The up arrow actually goes down in uh, in ISO, and the down arrow goes up in ISO. Reverse that. Just just reverse it. Just uh, flip it and reverse it, and then uh, click OK, um, and and you've accepted those changes. So it's now it's showing nicely there. Uh, that's, that's the only weird thing, that, and, and I know they're trying to go from small to big, up and down, but it just feels like, uh, like shutter, same thing. I should be able to go up in the arrow to go up in shutter value. I don't know. Uh, that's, that could be just a, what do you think it's got? Really? That's, no, that seems natural to me. Yeah. Um, Let's see here. Clayton says, congrats, man. I was on the phone with FedEx about a part of an hour. To, it is not my Raptor. So uh, I just want to be clear. Breakthrough Technologies, uh, let me borrow this. It's a funny story, hilarious story. I literally, my jaw just crashes. He's like, well, I'd really love to know what you think about it, Scott. Why don't you just take this one? That was, that was literally my face. Tim, Tim was there. He can tell you. Um, yeah, so it's not mine. Um, <laughs> but I'll be owning one soon. <laughs> uh, it's FedEx to get a better part of an hour trying to get my Raptor released, and it looks like it'll arrive on Friday. You will love it. 
Uh, it's a it's a giggle. It's a it's a giggle. So like Komodo, when you open it up, it's you you you, you giggle. Uh, this one is a different giggle. It's, this one is this one is a high pitched cartoonish giggle. Um, this one it's a little bit bigger. It's a little more uh, superhero kind of giggle. Um, I feel like Deadpool. Yeah, Deadpool. Um, Jared says uh, the red monitor for Raptor is a touch. That's yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. So the menu by itself is a little clunky because it's on the side, but. Clearly, this thing will open up with a touchscreen. Um, I don't have one. Uh, Graham didn't get his, and I, I believe they are shipping soon. Um, so it's, I mean, like like this. I mean, it, it was kind of hilarious when I went from DSMC two to Komodo with a monitor. I don't know how many times I touched the screen because I just know when I pick up a red, I touch the screen, and magic happens. I mean, basically. So, so this one, it took me a while to touch a different screen. This one, I really want that screen. Really want it. But uh, I don't have it. Um, let's see here. Um, do, 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 do. Single operator control back. That also fixes the handle getting in the way. It does. It, and, and honestly, if I have the touch screen, then that handle is coming right back in my, in my position, and I won't care about the side. I really won't. Uh, that is very, very fair. Um, Ali says, I can live with a handle getting in the way. I mean, how often do we really adjust settings anyway? Well, I mean, uh, is it a bad thing for me to say I do a lot? But I'm in, I'm in nature, so everything's changing. Conditions changing. Oh, by the way, I know this had pre-record, but I, I never used it much. Um, I never had a lot of luck with lightning. Lightning is interesting on this one, too. Um, I mean, once you shoot lightning with Komodo, global shutter, you're kind of spoiled. This is better than DSMC2 for capturing lightning. There's still some, some, some funniness. It, it, it's, kind of, it's kind of interesting. Um, Jared, I don't know if, if you would say or not, are you reading the sensor from the bottom up? Uh, and I couldn't see it unless I was at like 600 frames a second, but it was, it was interesting. Uh, I mean, it's not like a rolling shutter, it just, there was a feeling that I got at, at that, that high shutter and frame rate that uh, led me to believe that way. Um, but it is, it is, uh, it's, it's far better at capturing lightning. But where I was going with that, sorry, a thousand miles an hour, pre-record. <laughs> I was having so much fun last night with pre-record. I'm sitting in my easy chair. I've got the, uh, the, the Raptor pointed up at the sky. I've got uh, red control here. I'm just sitting here going, pre-record? Mm -hmm. Oh, neat, lightning, boop, confirmed. Um, pre-record? Oh, good, lightning, boop. And that's all night long. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious, till the storm came. And then, I, then I promptly got back in the van. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Agree with the up, down arrows, Nick. Thank you, thank you, Nick. See, I'm not crazy. I'm, well, maybe two of us are. Um, another Nick, hey. Um, any estimates on what the cost of the production pack will be that one is that is coming soon? I don't have any information on that um, at all. The, the way I would, I, 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 I couldn't even speculate. I don't know because this is a totally different animal than like DSMC2. So you can't even, you can't even relate the things. Um, again, it's, it's everything that they learn. They just keep getting better and better, which... By the way, I, I, I'm going to do this number. There were a lot of people who were absolutely complaining about, oh, you got to buy a special module. You got to buy special memory. You got to buy special everything. Oh, reds are so expensive. And then Komodo comes out and they're like, well, you can just use off the shelf uh, you know, Canon batteries. You can use uh, CFast. I mean, you can use whatever monitor you want. It's, oh, it's RF lenses. Oh, it's, I mean, it's simple. And the same thing here. You don't have to buy anything special. The, the only thing you have to have are micro V mounts, which um, is not lined up. Let's just zoom out. <clears throat> this is a micro V mount from Core. This is a mini from Blue Shape. I, I love my Blue Shape. But Blue Shape doesn't currently make a micro. So the only one that will fit on the back 
is a micro. The, the minis, not gonna fit. Now maybe you could do something with a, like a, a shark fin, something like that, and be able to get something off. Uh, I know the gold mount is going to like be an adapter, I think. And so maybe that would off, offset it. Maybe someone makes a, an offset for V-mount. I don't know. Um, these last about 60-ish minutes. Um, and boy, I mean, when you're shooting 8K 120, it cranks. It cranks really hard. <laughs> it's, it's pulling the power. I think I read in the manual, it's 60 watts um, normal usage powered on sitting around. And then when you're shooting 8K 120, it's 75 watts of, of current draw, which is about the same. Um, I think this one was 65 for DSMC2. Um, but word, word warning, if you're going to shoot 8K 120 or 600 frames a second, 2K, um, give it a minute before you eject that card and put it in your hand. Uh, wow. Was that an experience? That card gets blazing hot. I mean, blazing. So do be careful. Do be careful. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see if I can get through all these. Uh, if, if I've missed a question, uh, please re-put it down there. I'll, I'll, I'll get, try to get to it. Um, so Nick, yeah, I don't have any cost estimates. Um, but I mean, if you think about this, this thing is essentially, um, an upgraded across the board, what a DSMC two with a Monstro was, and it's less than half the price of what a Monstro was. So, I mean, yeah, when, uh, let's see here. Um, Ollie says definitely switch the arrow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jared. <laughs> um, uh, Don says, uh, Jared Lane, awesome stuff you're bringing out to read. Yeah, you know, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun watching this stuff. And I, I love, I love the way Jared loves to play marketing. Cause like Komodo was teased for like a year before anybody saw anything. And then it was a, a slow trickle before anybody got to really enjoy it. And then Veeraptor just, oh, by the way, tomorrow we have a new, yeah, just right out of the blue. I, I think that's hilarious. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Don says he loves his Stormtrooper Komodo. Yeah, Komodos are sweet. Um, mirrorless have the same ISO going down, etc. So it's up to go down? Interesting. Um, Clayton as is, how was city gear this year? Very small, very, very small. Uh, I believe the record was 17 minutes to walk the floor. Um, if you know me, you know, I just chat up a storm. So it, it, it took me several hours. And of course that I did it a couple of times. There's a lot of cool stuff. Aperture has some really cool stuff. The 1200 D. Oh, it's very nice. Um, uh, Atlas, um, Atlas showed uh, a prototype for the future and ooh, ooh, Atlas is cool. I don't know. I don't know. We're not allowed to take pictures of it. Are we allowed to talk about it? I don't know. Nar, if you're on, tell me if I'm allowed to talk about it. I, I feel like you can't not talk about it if you show it to a group of people. Um, <laughs> Jared says, pre-record is better on Raptor and you can thank the big Sir Foxes for that. Yeah, if you didn't see uh, Jared's foxes, uh, that, that's kind of amazing. They literally look trained. He's got these, uh, these baby foxes that show up uh, on this place where he's at in uh, Big Sur, and they just pop up on a stump. And so he just kind of sits back in the, I guess, I guess he sits back, are you, probably, are you in camouflage back there? Or are you just literally sitting back about 300 feet and bringing them in? And he just pre-records and gathers those, uh, those foxes. So on Jared's Instagram, I think it was where he posted it, uh, you can see the, the foxes at night. It's, it's kind of cool. I dig that. Um, Jared says, uh, we have an adapter coming to make it full-size V-Lock. Ooh, that's really cool, actually. Thank you, Jared. That's, uh, that one's going to be popular. Um, I dig that. Um, Ollie says, how quick are you... <laughs> so, so that is a very, very good uh, question. Um, yeah, well, okay. So I'm shooting everything that I couldn't do before. Uh, eventually, once I've, I've, 
I've blown through everything I possibly can because I'm 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 shooting as much as I can in a week, and then I'll edit, uh, do everything after I have to send it back. Um, and so right now I'm just like 8K 120 this, 4K 240 that, uh, 6K or 6 6K 160, uh, 2K 600 in, in a widescreen. I'm I'm just doing that left and right. You can fill a card pretty quick. I believe the number is 13 minutes on LQ mode on 8K 120 for a 660. And again, when you eject that card, whew, get some gloves. <laughs> I mean, that thing that thing will make some really nice grilled cheese if you had a little tiny grilled cheese to put on top. There are, ooh, yeah, you could uh, put two, two cards on top on bottom of grilled cheese and make a little tiny grilled cheese. I feel like that should be a YouTube channel. Um, so there's Phil Holland for a 660 gig. Okay, uh, let's go back. Okay, so uh, I mean, I have shot terabytes upon terabytes of, of data already. I'm so glad I have 24 terabytes free on my array right now because I'm filling it up. Um, how does color dynamic range and highlight roll off compare to Monstro? So I have uh, some experience, not a whole lot of experience with Monstro. Uh, to me, it feels very similar to Monstro uh, as far as highlight. Um, uh, dynamic range, it, it feels very much like a Monstro. Um, there, there's a lot of talk about the shadows looking better. Um, I haven't had the opportunity yet to get the shadows, although tonight with my cigar shots, there's a lot of shadow in there. So I get to look at that, but I instead decided to set up a live stream. Um, Phil Holland says, uh, 24p 8K, minutes HQ, 24, 35, uh, okay, H, HQ, MQ, and uh, there we go. So Phil's already done this dirty work, plus he's, he's had the camera for a while. So 56 minutes of 8K, 24p. That'll tell you the 660s. Uh, there is a 1330 coming, I think, from, um, oh, I hope it'd be from Red, but also Angel Bird. If it has the new chipset, uh, Jared, would that one work? Uh, and again, anybody that's looking to buy this, do not buy the off-the-shelf Angel Birds. They are not the correct card. You have to have a, not version two, it is a Mark II. Uh, it has a different chipset in it. Uh, you might get away with it if, on, on some stuff, but let's be honest. Do you really want to show up on set and hope that everything records? Because that's, that's literally the one thing that you never have to worry about um, with everything that RED certifies. It works all the time, every time. I mean, it just does. Occasionally, you'll get a blip, but that's, I mean, that's just through the meantime between failure, really. But, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go. Um, Frosty says, this is a great achievement. Tim Doss says, full V-lock, you say? That, that's the way Tim would say that. You say, hmm. Uh, cheers, Phil. Ali, yep, thanks, Phil. Thanks, uh, ride the pin. <laughs> they didn't show that. That was secret. Um, yep, yeah, okay. So they didn't show it, even though a lot of people... Uh, but, I mean, maybe there's something that's coming from Atlas, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, doo -doo -doo. That was private for you. It was not private. It was private for, like, 100 people. But, I mean, you know, I I'm just saying... Atlas is working on stuff. Uh, I heard black shading is done at startup. So I haven't run a black shade yet. Um, I haven't had the need, honestly. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not getting any noise that screams, uh, you should have black shaded that. So that's a good question. I need to dig into black shading. I'll make a mental note of that and do that. Um, Clayton says, uh, do you know of a timeline on dedicated Raptors accessories such as cages, shoulder kits, and production packs, uh, storm, and that Stormtrooper operator <laughs> Jared, you got to make it, dude. Um, I don't. All I can tell you is that everybody right now is scrambling to make parts for it, so some will come before others um, soon. Uh, plus... Everybody's, everybody's getting a feel for it. How does it feel? Where do I want my accessories? How, like this is literally how I run my Komodo. Um, that, and I'll put the, the little handle on the side. I mean, that's, that's my rig for Komodo. 
So, um, I mean, it took a while. I mean, I've got a lot of rigs that, I mean, I'll, I'll scale it how, as I need it if I, if I need it in a larger production, but this is, this is my everyday run around. Um, so it takes a little bit of time for people to get them in their hands and figure out how people want to shoot with them. And then there are different flavors. I mean, it just, just happens. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Jared says, uh, if you're shooting a lot of 8K120, the 1.3 terabyte is going to be your friend. There you go. Which should give you like 26 minutes. Yeah. Um, Chris says, uh, Jared, would you be willing to let me borrow one to film a wedding? <laughs> no, that's funny. That's funny. There, there's some, there's some inside jokes that I would love to, to share because uh, there was a lot of things I was like, Ooh, Ooh, I want to try to be the first to do this. And every time I make that joke, Jared will go, nah, it's already been done. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, hey, Nick. Yes, that is fine. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, retracted before answered. Nope, he answered it. Uh, sensor calibration black shading is faster, by the way. It's, it's about 430 when you run it. Okay, and it's about eight minutes currently on Monstro. Okay, so that's faster. Uh, boot up time uh, it was an interesting point. Uh, I know, Phil, you timed it. I timed it at 27.7 seconds. It is beta firmware, so... I mean, take that for what it's worth. It is faster than DSMC2. Um, uh, Red says, did you buy it or is on loan? This is strictly on loan. Scotty does not own one yet, but Scotty will own one. It will, oh yes, it will be mine. Uh, Jared says, accessories coming next month. My favorite accessory right now is the new top handle. It's killer. I, I, I kind of like a good top handle. I, I will be, uh, I'll be interested in that. And then I know that, that the, the monitor has a few tricks up its sleeve when it ships. So I'm excited for that. Um, let's see, I mean, I'm doing a live stream, but really what I'm doing is I'm letting Jared answer your questions because he's got all the answers. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, new top handle, you say? Any skinny on some GDU goodies? I, I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking there could be a couple of GDU goodies. Just, just right off hand. Let's see here. Um, Sai says, awesome, Jared. Thanks. Can't wait to get the accessories. Peter, hey, Peter. Is the handle coming next month or is it already available? Hmm. That is a good question. That's a Jared question. I, I will let him answer that. <laughs> I'll wait. Jared's over there just typing away. Just, just, just. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, the live stream's performing really well. I'm liking that, at least. Um, let's see. Throw out more questions out there. I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to answer away. Uh, handle not available yet, supply chain. Yeah, so supply chain, supply chain is killing everyone right now. And I know Jared alluded, alluded to it before. Um, the thing, the, the, they are doing so much to get Komodos out. Um, and it's costing a lot. Um, and uh, to, to listen to the kind of the stories of everything that's going on behind the scenes, playing this game of, of the supply chain is, is it's, it's gotta be rough. I, I don't know how anybody keeps their head about them, uh, with it, but yeah, supply chain is, is making it difficult. I, I know somebody was saying it was really even hard to get aluminum blanks, just, just aluminum to, to mill, uh, Wild. Let's see here. Um, high ISO performance in comparison to Dragon Helium. So I can compare it directly to Dragon. I don't have a Helium here to compare it to. Uh, it blows Dragon out of the water. Uh, and and don't get me wrong. I have some serious, serious love for Dragon, but not not when the uh, sun starts to go down. Not. I mean, Dragon. When you give Dragon light, it is one of the most beautiful sensors Red has ever made. I absolutely love Dragon, but Monstro, and this is what I was saying before on like upgrading to Monstro. Monstro is a beautiful sensor. I think it is better than Dragon. The one thing though was I didn't want to upgrade from these frame rates to Monstro frame rates, which are essentially the same across the board. I just get 8K. Uh, that was a hard pill for me to swallow to jump out of Dragon. This changed everything. So I get a Monstro Plus, a Monstro 2.0, a 
Raptor. Uh, I get double the frame rates. I get all the things that I loved about Monstro, double. It absolutely destroys Dragon in low light. Gemini has still got an edge, but Gemini is a 5K camera. You, it's, it's really hard to take a big sensor with big pixels and compare it to a really tightly condensed, man, sorry, I got the hiccups. Uh, compare it to, because I think a Gemini to scale that up would be much larger than, than VistaVision to get it to 8K. Uh, so that would be, that'd be tough. We're already, uh, we're already you know, putting everybody on notice, start making those full frame uh, lenses. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Jerry, by the way, has the DSMC top handle been discontinued? That's, that's an interesting question. Um, Peter got it. Thanks, Jared. Yep, yep. Uh, time lapse coming in alongside Komodo, or will Raptor be later? So, yeah, Jared, you said uh, time lapse for Komodo is November uh, ish. Uh, will that be the same for Raptor? That's a great question. Um, uh, Uphill says Monster, Monstro, or Raptor? Uh, for me, it's Raptor uh, because of the way that I shoot. I do a lot of nature. I love nature. Uh, slow motion is king in nature because you really only get like four seconds of the animal anyway. So at 120p, 120p, really? 120 frames per second. Wow, I'm just dating myself. Uh, 120 frames per second. I mean, you get eight times as much uh five, six times as much math, math is hard, five times as much slow motion, so that uh, four seconds becomes uh, 20 seconds. So yeah, you get the shot. Um, uh, Phil says, I'm actually really pumped for the new base plate system. Yep, features both Arca and Airy Dovetail. Ooh, ooh, interesting. Liking Arca for a lot of quick, see, that's me. I love Arca. Um, I know that, uh, this is the Manfrotto from Breakthrough. It's also a uh, bottle opener, so if you want to do that. I believe this is coming in Arca as well. I mean, I rock, I rock, my, I got my Kessler quick quick plates on the bottom, or quick stands on the bottom of, of every camera. It's, it's, it's how I roll. I love Arca. Arca is so fast, especially with that, that Kessler quick receiver. Oh man, you just click and go, click and go. Sounds like an ad for something. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> wow, boy, they're coming in now. Woo, let me see here. Uh, do, 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 like an archive a lot for quick setups with the small cams, dovetail, anytime on fluid heads uh, and such. Uh, Peter says, I take it color grading is similar to Komodo workflow flow, or slightly different. Same. Uh, same as Komodo. Uh, everything about it is the same. Um, what's your variable? Filter adapter of choice for the Raptor, the breakthrough. So um, it's on here right now. Let me see if I can, I can't even see myself right now. So this right here, and this camera died, of course. Uh, this is the variable, this is the clear filter right now, but uh, that's just using the Canon, so that's the photographic one. The new one uh, that they just uh, launched at, uh, Cinegear is at, uh, cinemadfm.com. And it's basically this guy right here. This is the PL version right here, um, but it uh, it slides in and out. It is it is a beautiful. This one is this was actually the photographic version of, of it. But the the Cinema DFM is is awesome. That variable ND has like no color shift. It's it is quite amazing. I've been testing it and using it for like a year now. It is. Is amazing. Um, do, 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 do. That is my that is my choice for the Raptor. Um, but we also know that uh, Red is working on an electronic indie. Is that variable, Jared, or is that is that uh, carousel, or is it like like uh, Panavisions? Kind of want to know. Um, doo -doo -doo. Hey, man, morning. Uh, hey. Uh, Raptor is basically a dragon with double the frame. No. Raptor is basically a monstro um, plus double the frame rates. And, but it's, it's, it's more than just a monstro. Uh, it's, it's all the goodness of, of the changes for Komodo, all the goodness of monstro doubled and then some. 
it's 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 a lot of goodness. Um, is this is the screen? No, the screen is not touchscreen on the side. Um, uh, I think you be monstro. Tim says, "Yep, uh, uh, Jared Leonardo." End of October trickle. Got it. Um, ooh, okay. Uh, in Super Thirty Five, I mean, oh, oh. Um, mm, I mean it. Yeah, I mean the sensor size is the same, but the image there's a little more dynamic range with a monstro. I think it's it's almost a full stop more dynamic range. It, it, with with Raptor and Monstro, those are 17 stops, I believe, is their advertisement. Uh, Dragon, I think, is 16, 16 and a half. I think it de depends. Um, so yeah, uh, Leonardo says, "Thank you, Jared." Yep, yep, yeah, Jared, you're 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 a rock star, dude. You're just you're pegging away at these. Uh, Nick says uh, the one terabyte AV Pro CFast Express two Type B and currently. Uncompatible, fail to read the media on the Raptor. Will it be possible to hold on to these cards for future updates? Uh, so, a word about certifications. The when they certify media at Red, they're running it through its paces, um, and they're putting it through extended paces so that they know it will perform. I think I did the math, and and he can tell me I'm completely full of it or not, but I think. Uh, everything that these cameras do runs at a maximum of 90% of the capability of the media, the readers, etc. That way they always have a margin of error. Um, so, again, you might get away with it, but if it's failing now, it's probably, I mean, it's, it's not good. I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't skimp on media. There's there's a lot of, of CFAST media available for Komodo that is approved. Just do that. Um, it's it's well worth it. I mean, Angel Bird is, is really good. Um, um, the, the other one. <laughs> the ones that are in my camera over there. Uh, Tim, drop the name. I can't remember. I apologize. Um, have you had a chance to check out the internal audio? No. That is coming up soon. I will be doing actually one of my videos using this just because I feel like it's really important for me to do one of my, um, one of my, uh, one of my videos in 8K. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of necessary, isn't it? Um, Uphill says, uh, Jared, is Super 35 dead? I don't know that I, well, it's a Jared question. I personally, I don't think Super 35 is dead. I, I, I think you have options now. Uh, Jared led Ryan, yes, Raptor has a new low pass filter too. Interesting. Scotty loves Arca. Scotty does love Arca. It's, it's definitely. Uh, Jared says, uh, two better skin tones and fixes the orbs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Interesting. Uh, I have to go, I have to go try that. I need to go film some night streets uh, and, and and then go, oh, you know what though? I did get the sun tonight. Oh, I blazed the sun through there. So I can't wait to look at the, we, we, we played it back on here. I mean, it's some, it's the most epic Scott cigar video ever. Um, yeah, uh, better skin tones, let's see here. The color, uh, the color on the Raptor is freaking amazing. I, I agree, it looks really good just straight out of camera. It really does, Leonardo. The fact that Jared is is just in this chat answering questions is dope. Yeah, you gotta you gotta give him a round of applause if there was a way you could give him a round of applause. Yeah, Phil Hall on this, perfect. Yep, exactly. Jared is a he's a machine. He really is. I don't know how much of him is electronic. I I, I feel like Elon probably has given him some some extra brain capability. I don't know. Jared, you could you could comment. Uh, let's see. Um, breakthrough PL with VND adapter when available. Yes, uh, and it's it's available very soon. Very soon they are ramping up, literally. Uh, Jared says variable electronic ND. That's going to be an interesting one. I I I'm going to say uh, that is that is going to be one to look at for sure. Um, see here, everything's going good. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, Tim says Jared in here making sure Scott doesn't call Raptor same sensor as Monstro. Yeah, you you're, you're not wrong, Tim. I'm, <laughs> he's like, oh, that Scott character, uh, or the Rapture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was pretty good. Um, Uphill says, uh, should we write off Super Thirty Five? I don't think so. 
I don't think so, because there's a, there's a time and a place for everything. Not everything requires full frame. It's kind of fun, but not everything. Um, let's see here. Have you seen any big difference in dynamic range between the Komodo? Yes. Between this guy and this guy? Yes. Uh, yes. Between this guy and this guy? Yes. But not as much as, as this. this. This is a fantastic camera. I absolutely love, well, I mean, all the cameras I own, I'm not gonna keep a camera I hate, so let's be honest. So yes, all the cameras I love, and I, and I love this, I don't own it. Um, this looks great, I love it. The Dragon has more dynamic range. The, the, the Rapture, no, the, uh, the Raptor V-Raptor has more dynamic range still than the Dragon. Uh, so I mean, literally right now, I'm shooting with this, with two exceptions. One of those is going to get taken care of here really shortly. So one exception, number one, why I moved to Dragon at this point is when I need time-lapse. Uh, time-lapse abilities, I rock time-lapse on this. I have uh, mirrorless everywhere, but I love shooting time-lapse with these because the dynamic range is killer. And it's already in a greatly editable, widely used, compressed raw format. So stacking images and, and applying things through Lightroom when I could just go into to Resolve and just edit a file, oh man, time-lapse is killer on this. So when time-lapse comes with this, Jared, I'll, t I'll beta test for you. Um, yeah, this is gonna get time-lapsing like crazy. Uh, the other thing that I go to this for is frame rates. So anything when I need to go at 6K, 80, I love shooting 6K at 82 um, frames per second. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite things on the Dragon, especially with nature. Um, so I have to go to that for that because Komodo can't do it. It's not physically possible to squeeze more lemon out of the lemonade. Lemon, squeeze more lemonade out of the lemon. I guess it's taking lemon juice out of the lemon to make lemonade. There we go. Uh, this is going to be my new best friend. Um, so, yeah, look, look for this for sale soon. Oh, I mean, this is the best camera. You should absolutely buy this one. <laughs> um, let's see, Jared, let's for the card issues. We are working on other manufacturers to help them upgrade their firmware for compatibility. Older cards with new firmware won't get you the speeds needed for, for but, but at least work. So, yeah, that, I mean... There's a there's a, a weird industry thing. So uh, and Phil was was cluing me into this. So I'll, I'll give Phil the shout out because I mean you got to give Phil the shout out. He's, he's Phil. Um, what's stamped on a card does not necessarily mean that's what the card can do. So this one is a bad example because this one can literally do it. Um, this says 560 megabytes a second. A off-brand card will say 550 megabytes a second, but it can't do 550. It can't do it sustained. It'll overheat, or it actually has a cache in it that you exceed the cache, and then you're done. Um, with, with the um, CFast Express Type Bs in here, I mean, you're talking about 800 megabytes a second. It is a lot of data sustained. Um, which, if I'm doing my math correctly, at 90%, that means we're putting 720 megabytes a second onto the card sustained with the red safety margin. That's what I'm guessing. Um, do, 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 do. How heavy is your current Raptor setup? It's a good question. Um, I mean... Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't do that. I'll find out. I'll just continue to talk. Meanwhile, Jared is answering questions, and I will grab this scale, and then I'll give you the exact answer because I care. I care a lot, and wireless microphones rule. <clears throat> do do do. Do, 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 do. My power cord got wrapped around the, uh, really? Got wrapped around the chair. I almost made a, a big boo-boo. 
Okay, so let's find out. Let's find out together. Maybe? Really? This thing? There we go. So. So I'll try, I mean, so this has an IRX 45 uh, millimeter cinema glass on the front. It has an OC G7, has a side handle, has a Nano from Core on there, um, and it also has power and coax connected. So this will be the weight. I'll try to take off the coax, and it says over. <laughs> well, there you go. This is a 10 pound, isn't it? No, eight pounds. So is it really just at eight pounds? What are we at here? Off center. Ah, that's what we're doing. Really? There, oh, yeah, okay. Figures. No, it's, it's just over eight pounds then. There you go. Uh, so I would need to take off something to get a true weight. Um, I can do that. Let me just do that real quick. Let's take off that lens, which the lens weighs. The lens weighs 2.53. Yeah. So everybody knows that Scott's honest. Tear it out. 2.53. Okay, and then now we can put this on here. And it's still over. Well, let's, uh, let's turn it off and take off the battery. Turn that off. All right, I'll get you the answer. So let's uh, go back to the, the questions here. Um, Super 35 is not dead. Oh wow, there's just a uh, card. Okay, ha ha, to blah 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 blah. EVF for the red days. Have you noticed any difference with wavelet encoding versus the DCT of Dragon while in post? Not really. Um, no, not really. It's 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 pretty comparable. Uh, love the images I'm seeing thus far. Buttery smooth. I'm waiting to see a set of signature primes on one. I, I would agree with that. I'd like to see that. Uh, Tim says the cooling system on the Raptor reminds me of the Mac Pro trash can. Let's 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 uh, let's let's say it's it's probably engineered better than that one because that one didn't work so well. But this one, this one, <laughs> this, I mean, I was in the hot sun yesterday and it was it was definitely okay. It's off. Um, it was definitely uh, uh, keeping it cool. So I'm going to. Power. I'm going to leave the SDI plugged in because follow SDI protocols. Let's see if we can get this measure weighed now. There we go. All right. So 7.25 pounds without the battery and without a lens. And that's with an OC monitor on the back, which is, I mean, you're going to have a monitor no matter what. I don't know. I think it's on Red's website as to how much the red monitor weighs, but I would guess it's going to be similar in weight to this one. There's no reason that a seven inch monitor should be so different uh, other than the fact that it's touchscreen and it's, it's pretty bright and it's a red monitor and it's pretty fantastic and it has a few tricks up its sleeves. So, I mean, yeah, there should be no difference except for the fact of all those things. Um, okay, let's put the lens back on. Do, 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 and crank it back up. Well, okay. What power here? All right. So back to um, do -do 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 -do. um. Thanks, Scott and Jared, for the updates. Yep, Peter. Any anytime. Happy to happy to host Jared. <laughs> I mean, I really should just get him on here. Unfortunately, I'm not using the the, the streaming software, which stinks. Jared, uh, if, if you're willing sometime, I'll, I'll get you on. I'm going to do another live stream, uh, and then I'll get the other streaming software so I can have guests on, and I'll, I'll bring you on if you want. Uh, I'm sure you'll get an audience. <laughs> People just love you, man, and I'm one of them. Um, have third-party companies began manufacturing cages? I would almost 
guarantee that stuff is being made right now. Uh, classical technology, beautiful camera. It is a beautiful camera. You are correct. Uh, Santiago says, how... How high does uh, 12,800? It's not usable at 12,800. Don't, don't even try. I mean, 6,400, uh, I mean, you could denoise it and probably get something that would pass. I wouldn't call it usable. I think the most I would probably want to go for a usable image with denoising in 8K would be probably 4,000. But it also depends on what you're shooting. Um, you give it a lot of light then you know you can get away with a little bit more. So uh, Jared says, cooling system is phenomenal on Raptor. It's pretty hard to get the sensor away from its, from its preferred 45 degree angle. I tried pretty hard and our engineers laughed at me. <laughs> I swear the gremlin <laughs> was inside. Um, uh, take all the heat and just put it into the CF car. <laughs> you know, that that's, feels about right. <laughs> uh, again, those cards, no joke. Don't eject it and put it in your hand if you've been shooting on them. <laughs> um, how many dB is cooling system? I will measure it. I, uh, I did a test earlier. It's quieter than DSMC2. Uh, to me, it sounds a little, a little more than Komodo, but again, Komodo has a higher pitched sound than this one. This one has a very large fan, which I can't show you that way. I have to show you this way. Uh, it's a much, much larger fan, so it has a deeper, deeper sound. It's, it's more of a whoo than a whoo kind of thing. But it, it's, it's definitely quiet. Um, it's, it's not bad at all. I mean, I put, I, mean, I don't want to turn the air conditioner off, but I'll, I'll bring this closer. You should be able to hear something there. Um, rubber DB is variable depending on how fast the fans are going. This is true. A uh, big part of why Raptor is so good at keeping the sensor cool is because there is a massive fan and a massive thermoelectric cooler. Yay, Peltier is for the win. Love me some Peltier coolers. Um, Sai says, uh, thanks, Scott, for all the info. Absolutely, anytime. Jared says, sure, sign me up. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, after autofocus is here, will IBIS or some type of in-camera stabilization be popular in popular? possible in future reds uh would definitely speed up yep lots of third parties making cages that better not be a wasp <laughs> sure look like one. Ooh, boy those things they somehow get into my studio and they fly around and scare me make me make me upset um yeah jared i didn't see if you answered the internal stabilization on RF glass, if that was supported, I felt like it was. You said a yes way, way back up, but I don't know if that was answering me. Um, Cause it sure, it sure felt like, um, um, it sure felt like the IBIS was working on that RF glass. The sure sign me up was for the live stream. Excellent, I'll, I'll figure out a time when you have some availability and let's, let's do this thing. Um, Jared, let's see, see, Leonardo Red said, let's make the best camera we ever made, made and let's make it half pro. I mean, you're not lying. You're not lying. And, and on top of that, let's make the best camera we've ever had. Let's make it half the price. And oh, by the way, let's knock out all the detractor statements. Oh, you have to buy specialized red media. Nope. Oh, you have to buy specialized red. Nope. I mean, they just kind of just check, 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 check. You can do what you want. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's like check boxes. Yeah, that, that really works. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Perhaps it's the beta software or my unit, but as a Raptor owner, currently brand new Angel Bird CFast 2, 1700 cards can't be read. No, they are not. You have to have the Mark II chipset in those cards, which are not available yet. That's why. It, it, that's why people are having a hard time getting these red cars because Angel Bird only made, uh, uh, Jerry can speak to this, they only made X amount of them. They're ramping up production. They sent them to red. Red distributed them the best they could. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it is not, on, on Angel Bird, there are type B cards. There are version two uh, cards. Then there is a Mark II. The Mark II is what is required for the right chipset, and those can handle the higher sustained data rate. I mean, this is this is no joke. This is one of the things that that 
I mean, red protected, and, and they didn't protect massive giant profits. That's not what they were doing. They're protecting integrity of the DSMC2 line and the Epic line with their red mags and their, and their mini mags. It was about making sure that every single card that went in there would always work. And it's the same thing with these. Yes, they've opened it up. Other people can make cards, but that doesn't mean any card will work if it fits the slot. It has to be one that can sustain the data rate. Same thing with Komodo. So there will be lots of options. They'll have them on their webs on Red's website as to what will work. So don't just grab it off the shelf. If you've bought one, if you've got a if you've got a Raptor coming and you bought a bunch from from whoever, uh, don't don't um, send it back because they're probably not going to work, and you don't want to show up on set dropping frames. It's not going to be a good day. Uh, and 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 the honesty there. I mean, this is why Red was so protective of it being perfect all the time is because if you're on a set and you bring your Raptor, you got the best brand new Raptor on the planet. People just lining up for them, they literally are lining up. And you drop in a non-compatible card in there and it drops a frame or you, you miss the shot. People, people on that set don't care that you, you skipped out on the card. The only thing they saw was a red Raptor that, that didn't work and they'll blame Red, and it's not Red's fault. Red said, use these cards. So, I mean, they gave you some. They, they, gave the, um, they gave Red users some leeway. They said, okay, we'll let you have name brand cards. You can buy what you want, but buy certified cards. That's it. So it's, it's a give and take. Um, Nigel says, Jared, in your tests, do the LPL lenses offer more light, airy reasoning, or better coverage on Raptor than standard PL? Okay, interesting. I don't know. That's a Jared question. Uh, Jared says, IBIS depends on the lens. Same with the control ring. Okay. So it sounds like IS will be... It, well, it sounds like it was working on that because I'm telling you, it was pretty stable in my hand and I was I was... I was seriously like, maybe I just need to get some RF glass. Um, Nick says, is it possible to update this through USB-C or Wi-Fi? That's a good question. Um, that, I don't know if it's over the air. I'm guessing it's the same old firmware update. I have not had to do a firmware update on this, but I'm pretty sure it's just copied to the card and, and put it in. Um, thanks, Scott. One more question for you, or maybe Jared can answer um, better. Do you know if it will be possible to use Red DSMC 2 OLED EVF adapter? No, it will not. Uh, well, now that's a Jared question. I, I'm guessing no. Um, yeah, it's 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 got to be a no. Uh, on the XL, you saw the drawings that that he released. There is an EVF port, but it is literally power and an SDI port. So I don't think I don't think anything from DSMC2, with the exception of seems like there was one thing. No, maybe not. I don't think anything from DSMC2 will work uh, on Raptor. It's just a different animal. Uh, Nick says, "I'll oh, thank you for clarifying." Curtis says, "Hey, Curtis, what's up, buddy? Uh, love the new top handle." Uh, base plate and top plate. Hope they come soon. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, hi, Scott. Hi, Jared. Hi, Phil. Uh, Tim says, is it true that you can do a thousand frames per second on Raptor 2K 8 to 1? Wow, 8 to 1 on 2K? Um, <clears throat> so that's a good question, Jared. So I know on, on DSMC 2, we can squeeze out 400 frames a second by going to 8 to 1, and I think it's... Um, it's eight to one. I think it's four K eight to one or four and a half K eight to one. We can get all the way up to three ninety nine point whatever. Um, can we squeeze a thousand out of this with the eight to one? Pretty please. I mean, a really long narrow strip is awesome for tracking a bullet. I'm just saying, because because we're going to be shooting some guns here very shortly. I can't. I'm excited. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, Colby says, uh, I heard someone having an issue with shooting with Angelbird cards on the Raptor that were like 512 or something like that. On Raptor? Um, so, again, 
If they did not buy, and you cannot buy the Angel Bird brand right now with the Mark IIs. I don't think they're released yet. You can, you can find the version twos and the, um, the version ones, but not the Mark II. The red branded ones are the Mark IIs. Those are the only Angel Birds that will actually record. Angel Bird will be, or that will work with Raptor. Angel Bird will be releasing theirs, as I understand, for the same price. So there's not even a markup. Um, Aloha, hey yo. Cam says, uh, do we have an ETA on that electronic ND? I bet you the electronic ND is probably going to be released with uh, XL. Um, uh, you know, I mean, so, I mean, yeah. Electronic ND has to come with XL because it's inside of XL. But my guess is um, XL will be released and then shortly afterwards it'll be available. It, I mean, if we're still dealing with still dealing with supply chain issues, my guess is Red is going to equip every XL that they can with the variable ND, electronic ND. Uh, and then once the, the supply chain issues are resolved or the amount of XLs that were uh, ordered uh, starts to come down, then they'll start making the optional one for the Raptor. Because it's, it's going to be cool. I, I get that. Um, ND, hey, Tim, Curtis, uh, DSMC power cable still works. It does. That is literally what I'm using right here. <laughs> the, this is the DSMC 2 power cable. That is the, you're right, that is the, that is the one thing that still works. Uh, that is absolutely accurate. All right, whew, got to the bottom of those questions. All right, he's got more questions, go for it. Line them up here. I try not to make slurpy noises. I got called out for, for making slurpy noises when I drink. Um, wow, I'm posterizing again. God, I love that eight frames a second. That's awesome. Um, wow, the frames are going really good. I like that. Not dropping any. Um, there's a lot of people here, so uh, come on, throw some questions out there. You got a you got a, a good. Uh, well, you got you got the man in the in the, the audience. Might as well ask your questions. Really, it just quietens down. Just quietens all the way down. Okay, I see how we are. I see how we are. Uh, let's see, stream health, okay, analytics, all good. Yep, okay. Uh, Leonardo says, uh, where's the best place to get on a waiting list for the Raptor? So, your favorite your favorite dealer or red.com. Uh, Voice of Video has them. Um, Max Digital has them. Well, they have the waiting list. Uh, if you go to like a B&H, there's going to be a bigger waiting list. So, you're very likely to wait for a while. So just keep that in mind. I know that's a real, st people love to order from B&H. I love B&H, but when there's something that's in high demand, you and several thousand of your friends are sitting on a waiting list at B&H. So pick up the phone call, build a voice and video, call Max Digital, go to red.com, call red, order. Get on the waiting list. Um, operators are standing by. And no, I don't get a kickback. Uh, let's see here. Uh, well, here comes the questions. <laughs> Perfect. Colby says, I'm sure you've already answered this, but what is the max frame rate on Raptor again? 599 point something or other. 600 frames a second. Um, and that is at 2K. Well, that's the maximum that we know of right now. So I'm guessing we can squeeze 800, maybe 1,000. Maybe. Hello, Graham. Uh, does the USB-C to Lightning iPhone work for monitor? That is a good question. And I don't have, I haven't even tested it, Graham. But Graham, Graham is the guy from Breakthrough. He is the most awesome person who, this is his camera. Let's all thank him for letting Scott play. Um, I don't have a Lightning cable. I know that it does not work for data transfer. I had to, I had to Amazon a, uh, a, a, uh, a reader. Um, let's see here. Do, do, do. Um, Asa says, have you made your money back from your reds or do you rent them out? Um, the DSMC2, I've made my money back uh, many times over. The Komodo, yes, um, it's, it's, it's tough. I don't rent that out. The, I mean, it's, it's blue. It's, it's pretty blue. Um, 
I don't rent it out. It's a special camera to me. I don't rent it out unless I'm on set with it. So it's it's been rented out a few times, um, but I make my money on this by using it myself. Uh, and I mean, yeah, it's awesome. Um, do, 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 do. Um, is there a waiting list for the new top end? I'm sure there will be. Well, I don't know if there's a waiting list for them. I don't know. Usually, usually Red will take orders, take orders into a waiting list, and then just shut down orders. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Maxwell says this might be a Jared question, but how does the Raptor do with the? CN 20 by 50, can you shoot the full length of the lens without edging? That is definitely a Jared question. <laughs> I have not, I've not done that one yet. Uh, Sai so says, is it possible to get the CF cards soon if we order on red now? I only ordered one and I regret not ordering more. My Raptor is arriving this Friday. Um, yeah, I don't know when they're coming. I, he, uh, Jared indicated two weeks, but my guess is, at this point, they're trying to get everyone who's ordered a Raptor to get, at, everyone who's ordered a Raptor and a card, my guess is they're prioritizing those those folks to get at least a card first. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing this, that's, I mean, Jared's probably not even gonna answer that either, but uh, I mean, it's it seems like a reasonable thing to do. It would stink if, if you ordered a Raptor and a card, but you didn't get a card because someone else got three. I mean, it's, I'm sure some people got multiples, but yeah, I understand. Um, oh, there you go. He says we have a good supply of CFast Express cards right now. So there you go. Oh, wait, CFast Express. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. Leonardo says, got my Gemini from Voice and Video. Awesome peeps. Yeah, Bill, Bill is a super, super nice guy. He's a lot of fun. Also a lot of fun drunk. <laughs> uh, let's see here um, but he's not drunk at work obviously uh, Maxwell Vignetting uh, see Phil Holland USB to USB-C works via red control for monitoring as well just tested that today not as quick uh, as an SDI but not bad actually okay so the gram there you go it will work uh, USB to iPhone I have been using I mean the red control like crazy uh, it's it's awesome especially when I'm dropping things for 600 frames a second on motion control. I need all the hands I can get. Um, thanks, Jared. I'm going to order now. Perfect. Yep. Yep. Get those cards in people's hands. There you go. I need to cough. Probably not supposed to announce that when I do it. Let's see here. Um, Curtis says, I paid for my Komodo in the first few months I had it. Yeah, I'm for sure. Uh, my Helium paid for itself on my shoots. Yep. Uh, Ali says, Jared Land, uh, CVP London are telling me delivery is likely for early 2022 for orders placed now. Is that accurate? I'm going to guess that is actually accurate. <laughs> from what from what I heard, there there was a long list. But who knows? I mean, supply chain might, might pick up. He can answer that. Um, Clayton says, have you tried the Red Control app? Yes, absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, I can pull it up right now. Um, red control. Do, do, do. And I love client mode or, or well, be working in infrastructure, uh, on infrastructure Wi Fi. Oh, it's so nice. So, I mean, here it is. Double tap. So, let's see. Well, I need to see what I'm seeing here. So, this is focus. So, you can. It's a very slight, there's a delay, but it's probably two or three frames. It's not much. It works really, really well. Uh, and you can control everything. It, it's all out of focus on purpose because that wall has stuff on it that I can't show. <laughs> um, I should, uh, I really need, I need another building. Um, so yeah, Red Control app, absolutely phenomenal. I mean, phenomenal. Um, I mean, you can literally just take your phone or an iPad, wink, wink, um, and put it up here, uh, iPad mini, and just run and control everything right there. It, it's, it's that good of an app. 
um, Mikhail, M- M- I always say it wrong. That dude is is a rock star. M- Mikhail, M- L- M- Mikhail, I don't know. Full control guy, that guy. Um, ride the pig, <laughs> Tim. Jared Land says, Ollie can't answer that for CVP. It depends on their allocation list and where you fall into the list. Yeah, there you go. So, I mean, CVP, big company, kind of like a B&H, so it's, uh, it's possible there's a lot of people on that list. Uh, Jared says, or Ollie says, fair enough, thanks. Um, Asa says, uh, new, v- new V-Raptor or Monstro for 17.5 full package, which do you go for? Um... So you're saying a a monstro for seventeen five full package? Uh, so I mean, when when that comes up, there's nothing wrong with a monstro. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a monstro. The only question you have: Do you need eight K one hundred twenty frames a second? That's the only question you need to ask. Because if the answer is no, I don't, then you're probably better off with that monstro. Um, there's nothing wrong with that monstro. But if you want the latest and greatest everything, you gotta go Raptor. Um, yeah, seventeen five is is really cheap for a full package. I mean, that's really cheap for a Monstro. Um, that's that's way below what I think they're worth. That's just me. Uh, Jared says you can also go USB C to Ethernet adapter and long Ethernet cable for, to computer to offload from the Raptor's internal web server. That's that's true. So uh, you can SFTP from here. Uh, so you can transfer files through SFTP if you have a gig E USB-C Ethernet adapter, which I don't have. Because um, uh, I was I was literally at the airport reading the entire manual uh, coming back from L.A. Uh, with this thing just to, just to see if I could offload directly USB-C as a like a like a um, a mounted storage. You cannot. Uh, the only options were Ethernet, you could connect a network, you could SFTP that way, uh, you could USB-C um, with, with control, but no data. Um, Leonardo says, uh, owning a RED made me a better DP because I couldn't blame the camera if my images looked like crap. You're not wrong. That was absolutely one of the things that uh, I bought I could have I could have jumped many many jumps before I bought into the Red Epic, um, and one of them was I wanted a a a BHAG a big hairy ass goal is is what they say in the world of of goals you have a lot of little goals and then a big goal I jumped big because I wanted nothing to prevent me um, from well I wanted nothing for me to use as an excuse for why I wasn't doing a better job. And I mean, something like a red can absolutely show you, you need to, you need to, you need to hone up on your skills because it, it is so capable. It's so, it's so wide dynamic range, everything about it. You, if you mess up, it's going to show you, it's going to let you know that you did it. Uh, that is the beauty of of the red is boy when you put it in your hands and you you learn it, man does it make a beautiful picture. Um, so uh, Leonardo, you are not wrong. Um, uh, that's how I paid for itself. No rental market where I'm at, but making yep. Uh, and that I mean when I bought mine, uh, I had zero intentions of ever renting it. I bought it for me because it was right for me. Um, and I mean I have rented it, but. I mean, it was for me. Um, uh, Tyson's, why is the new monitor is not designed cableless like this? It is cableless. So it mounts cableless, but it has a cable on it for some cool stuff. Um, and, and I don't think Jared ever said anything about that. So it, it's, it's got cool stuff. The, the, cab- the cable is cable, it's cableless mount but it has a cable on it. Also, one good thing about that is if you've ever seen people who break their DSMC2 monitors, um, they always break it right here because they left it on their camera when they stuck it in their backpack. And the inside here is a coiled up rib- ribbon cable. 
And every time you see a broken monitor, and it's always the fault of the person who, who broke it, really, um, that ribbon cable is inside, and it's very expensive to repair. So if you put the cable on the outside, even though it looks like a cable design, um, it's probably easier to repair, It's my guess. Um, also less likely for it to break. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Curtis, Jared, I need a class on using the Ethernet on the camera. I give you a ca class, Curtis. I can do that. I can hook you up. Um, but Jared can teach you too. Uh, yes, for sure. Uh, Robert, a Monstro in the hand today might be better off the way. That you, I mean, you're not wrong, Robert. Uh, that is the. I mean, if you if you love the look of Raptor, you don't have the money, or you love the look of Raptor and you don't need 120 frames per second. Monstro is pretty pretty close. Uh, how's the audio? I don't know other than scratch audio. I have not plugged into audio yet. I will be doing a full test. I will do a full video. I'll be doing a full review, but I'll do one of my videos using the Raptor as well so we can, we can test the audio. Um, when you use Red Control, it will tell you the IP address of the camera if it's on the infrastructure. It, it, it'll also tell you on the side. Um, and you just you go to, if it's on like infrastructure, you know what, I can just do that right now. I will demonstrate this. Do to do, do. What's my IP? Hello. Oh, I'd love a drink. Thank you. Wife is in here being so sweet. 10.0.1.22. Okay, so do 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 do. There we go. We'll switch over to here. Um, Literally, just go away. <laughs> Email pops up. So this is uh, this is the web server uh, right here, and then you can go. Um, what is it? Eighty eighty. I don't think it's eighty eighty. I think it's eight thousand. Oh, Jared, I messed it up. Um, uh, maybe it's eight thousand. All right, Jared, type in the port. What's the port for full screen? Um, okay, so let's see here. Let's go back here. Um, Jared Leda, and the camera's own web page will pop up where you can uh, full control get the camera. Um, yeah, there's a, what's that port, 7,000? Seven, 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 ah. Type it, Jared, type it. Um, camera's on webpage. Scott, could you do a training video on the Ethernet? Yes, yes, I can, Curtis. Uh, still waiting on my Komodo, Brandon. I mean, I've heard some scary numbers. If, if Jared wants to say it down below, uh, I've heard the numbers of Komodos that have been sold. And I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't shock me, but it's kind of shocking. It's, that is, that is a seriously good selling camera. So I, I can understand that people are still waiting for them. Um, thanks, Jared. Uh, uh, Flip says, just got mine last week. Took five months, 16 days. Uh, Robert M., what does the monitor cable attach when not in use? The monitor cable, it goes from the mount to the monitor. Um, yeah, it's kind of a hybrid between cableless and cabled. There's a little hole in the monitor that swivels uh, onto the 15 millimeter so you can slide it on and off. Why does that thing keep turning off? Need me some cool air. Uh, plus, I got this this thing blowing a nice warm stream into my face. Um, let's see here. On top of any, Jared Lance says, thank you. Uh, monitor shipping next, late next month. Um, I thought there was a wasp in here. <laughs> I didn't see it. Uh, yeah, Tim, I got an email from Red earlier today saying that shipment is happening October 25th for monitors. There we go. Okay. Um, ever get the side handle scroll wheel? Um, will we ever get a side handle with a scroll wheel and a start stop like DSMC2? That's a good question, Jared. Will, will we will we be doing that? Um, I gotta find this. Uh, I'm gonna just go back to the uh, that so we can at least talk about that. Um, okay, so you can see here you can actually change your frame rates all through here, uh, all through the web server itself. You can change your ISO. Um, your iris you could change if it was an EF. Um, um, let's see here. Shutter speed, you're here. Color temperature, you could do all that. It tells you the, uh, the uh, serial number, everything there. Um, you can go in color temperature. You could adjust all of these things. Um, 
Uh, Jared, what's that? What's the port for a full screen video? Um, so there's all of that. You can play audio. Um, there's the lens information if you're doing uh, autofocus. And then this is the menu. Yeah, here's the menu system. So you can dive right into the menu all through here. So if you want to go into project settings, there's your project settings menu. It's, it's basically like, well, I mean, it's very similar to what's on the side. Um, let's see. Let's see here. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so I'm assuming there will be an extension cable. Um, be an extension cable for relocating the monitor to another 15 miller. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jerland, uh, are there any plans for an updated Komodo less than the V-Rev? I mean, I don't, I don't know if Jared will even answer that. H here's what my take would be. When everybody that wants a Komodo has a Komodo and there's no one buying a Komodo, then they'll probably start releasing a version two. But I wouldn't count on it because it's everybody loves Komodo as is. It is such a great camera. I mean, it is. It. I mean, it's it's funny. It's a crash cam. This was designed to be a crash cam, uh, and everybody's using it for their A cam. And I don't blame them. It's a fantastic A cam. <laughs> Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. it just says, yeah, the cable. Okay. How's the low light performance compared to a Gemini? So it's close to a Gemini. Gemini is still going to have an edge because it's a bigger pixel. Um, it's a lower Raptor has a tighter pixel density and the pixels are smaller. Uh, think of it in, you no, know, it's light buckets. You get a bucket of, of, uh, you get a bucket to capture rain. Um, the bigger the bucket, the more rain you can capture uh, in a given period of time. Gemini has a bigger light bucket uh, for each pixel than uh, Raptor. So it is, um, it is better. Gemini is better than this. This is not shabby at all. It's better than Dragons, better than Helium. Um, it's, it's, I think it's slightly better than Monstro, just, just from my... From my uh, my internal testing so far, um, can be extended. Um, special USB cable. Okay, very cool. That's so cool. Any word on non XL EVF? So I'm guessing a non XL EVF, since there's no mount for it, would just be an SDI and power. Um, this is how I controlled four Komodos for Kanye. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah Timmy, Timmy did some Kanye West uh, shooting there, and uh, they had four Komodos rigged up. It's kind of kind of amazing. Curious if there will be more run stop triggers for Komodo that will use the top pogo. Nine volt makes one. Um, so does um, um, Mutiny makes a run stop trigger. Um, when I ordered the run stop and it was dead on arrival, that's, that stinks. Yeah. Mutiny seems far, seems to be on fire making the start. Yeah. Mutiny has a new one. That's a, a little button that mounts. They also have one that's kind of a, like a little trigger. That's that one. That one feels creepy to walk around with a little, de a detonator button, <laughs> but their, their mount on one is, is pretty good. Um, 90, 90. Thank you. Okay. So let's go here. I was only off by 11,000. Let's see here. Okay, so so now you can actually go in. Let's just go to the wide, wide world of inception here. Well, let's just shoot the dog. Oh, yeah, cable management, Scott Studio, cable management, uh-oh. So, I mean, we're literally, I'm, we're, we're live streaming to my iPad uh, from the internal web server on the Raptor. Um, one day I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to install a website on there just to see if I can just host it. Wouldn't that be like the coolest thing? Hey, go to my website. Log into my Raptor. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, Flip says I'll check them out. Uh, let's see here. Aza says uh, an eleven to $13,000 Komodo could be very cool. We we're always just asking for more and what's next. I mean, you're not wrong. Everybody's going to ask for more. Um, 
I mean, the the next obvious question for Komodo is, hey, when can we get global shutter in higher resolution? I'm sure it's going to come at some point. I'm sure it will, but I mean, they just released this magnificent thing. And and people are like, but I want something else. I'm ready for the next thing. I mean, we all do. That's the way it is. The people, uh, oh, look, I stopped posterizing. So weird. Uh, let's see here. Um, ba -doop -doop -doo -doo. Throw more questions out there, people. If your TV has a web browser, you could use that client monitor without any extra stuff. Uh, that's <clears throat> so I was on uh, the first reality TV show shot with Komodo, um, and we literally walked around with iPads. Uh, and every, I had everybody, we, we went from, from this beautiful little Komodo right here to a Wi-Fi router uh, that we would mount centrally for all the scenes that we were shooting. Um, and then everybody walked around with iPads. It was, it was kind of amazing. It worked. Uh, it saves so much time and, and, and headache. And, and now with iPads being, you know, 10 hour battery life, it was, it was kind of amazing. Uh, Oh, dang, Wi-Fi TV as client monitor. <laughs> Great idea for, the, and you know, sometimes, sometimes good enough is good enough. Uh, sometimes it's not. If you're, if you're looking for critical color decisions on set, yeah, you're not going to use your TV, you're not going to use an iPad. But if your client just needs to see something, you know, the client that's literally on their phone um, most of the time, just give that on their phone. They feel so empowered when they can just sit on their phone and watch what's going on and they can, you know, surf the web and pretend. I mean, I'm not saying that ever happens, clients. Um, do, do, do. As you can tell, I love the built-in web server. Apologies for not going on and on. <laughs> I mean, it, it is really cool. It is, it is really slick that you can do that. And you can do that with Komodo as well. Komodo has the same abilities as, um, uh, as Raptor. And I'm guessing DSMC 3, everything coming forward, will use this, this idea. Because, oh no, someone damaged my screen. How are we going to get that shot? Let's log into the web and get it. Or we can use red control. Or we can use an external touchscreen monitor. It's redundancy upon redundancy upon redundancy all of these things are problem solving that you don't have to solve because you already have a solution. That's kind of smart. Uh, um, that that literally okay. I'm 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 patting Jared and and his team on the back. That, I mean it, it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy uh, the web server. Um, Curtis like and Scott is making a great point using iPads. And, I mean. It worked. It worked really well. Uh, will the V Raptor XL's integrated side screen also be non-touch? I don't know. It looked the same to me in the drawings. Do I have a drawing? I have a drawing. I think I have a drawing. I have a picture of Phil. But that's for another day. Um, I feel there's... Okay. Okay, so this is this is Raptor XL, um, and you can't see. Okay, so it looks like the same screen to me. Uh, it's just got a lot more bells and whistles on the front. You can see that that SDI and power two pin power for the EVF, um, and then you got the two hot buttons. Those those are going to be cool. Um, then the side. You got that that really cool variable ND electronic. Um, oh, that was uh, that's Phil Hollands, so I stole that from Phil with permission. Uh, but that shows you the size comparison of how. I don't think that's right, Phil. I think that VRAP that XL is a little too large. No, no, the screen size is right. That's interesting. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Phil's right. You don't ever you don't ever say. Phil's wrong. It doesn't work. Um, it doesn't work out good for you. Let's see here. Um, it's so crazy. Uh, v Raptor is an amazing push forward, but the Komodo is super amazing as well. What do you think is is a bigger in innovation? 
I mean, it's like, it's like comparing a pickup truck to a van. Sometimes you need a van, sometimes you need a pickup truck. Uh, they both are like a really high-end van and a really high-end uh, truck. Um, I don't know which one would be which. You, you could just assign your own. I, I mean, as far as innovation, because this has global, I mean, it's, it's like, think, think of global shutter like four-wheel drive and, um, and this being, I can store all my stuff in my van and the rain stays off of it, but you don't need four-wheel drive. Global shutter gives you the four-wheel drive. This doesn't have it, but this has high frame rates. More stuff you could put in it. I don't, I, that's, a, that's a horrible analogy. I don't know. Someone can come up with something better. I, I just don't think that they are comparable. I think they are, um, they are companions. So it's like, uh, I kind of wonder, Jared, if we, if we buy all the reds, do they assemble into a large red robot and then we, we get to world domination? I don't know. It's, it's kind of like Voltron or, or GoBots. Ooh, boy, I'm old. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, I just don't, I just don't think, I think they're both huge innovations but I don't think they compare to each other in, in their level of innovation. Uh, Clayton says, do you have any VistaVis and Cine lenses recommendations with a similar look to vintage anamorphic? Gosh, I don't. I mean, not that I could talk about. <laughs> um, vintage glass, not anamorphic. Oh, um, be for spherical glass. You know, I would leave that up to Philly. Phil, can you chime in on that if you would, please? Uh, Phil is definitely far, far more advanced um, with his knowledge of glass than I am. And he, and he uses all of it. And he puts it in helicopters. Um, see, Clayton says, or let's see, Curtis says, Scott, I'm going to hit you up for a walkthrough. Absolutely. Anytime. Call me, buddy. Uh, have a feature and now a show series to shoot Raptor Komodo and uh, use iPads. You will love it. You will love it. Literally, we had two Komodos on our, our, um, on our reality shoot. And I just, I went around to everyone's iPads and iPhones and gave them two tabs. And they just switched the tabs. It was a Voltron for the win. <laughs> There's Voltron. Um, sometimes you need a Tesla. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Tim's not right. There's Timmy for the drop of the Tesla. Um, let's see. Able to do time lapses. Artisan, soon. Uh, I, I've heard November for Komodo. I did not get an answer or a straight answer from Jared as to whether that will also be Raptor uh, at, in November. But since they share some of the GUI and share some of the, the way that they operate. I'm guessing porting one to the other is not as far as just creating it here. But again, Jared, if you need anybody to test the time lapse on the Komodo, you, you got my number, you know. Um, let's see here. Uh, Ferdian, Fer, Ferdian, sorry if I mispronounced it. Wondering if V-Raptor XL will have a swappable RF mount in addition to the usual EF. Uh, I believe it does. I believe it has swappable. Let's look at the photos. Yeah, we're going to go here. And we're going to go here. And if you notice, there are four screws and a connector on the front. So that is an interchangeable uh, mount on the front. Uh, Phil says, vintage feels on the cheap. Canon FD is a good way to go. There you go. Everything else is getting pricey now. Oh, yeah. For, yeah. And, yeah, the contacts are, are, are classic. Uh, Mamiya's. I like Mamiya's myself. Um, I have a small set of Mamiya. Uh, these, the medium, the 645, the medium format glass. Oh, man. It's, it's beautiful for flares. Uh, Clayton Burr says, thanks. I was looking into FD and some good um, SSCL glass sellers on eBay and are selling standard non-K35. Yeah, K35 is getting astronomical too. Jerry Lyons. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
That's sorry. I have to lean in to uh, to, to read the emojis. All right, who's got more questions? We're, we're all caught up here. Who's taught? Oh, Jared is the only guy, or the only person in the world that I look up to in more ways than one. He's, he's like, you, anybody that's ever met me in person, they always leave with the same thing. They're like, oh my God, I had no idea how tall or big you were, Scott. I have that same feeling when I, when I stand next to Jared. I'm like, hey, buddy, what's going on? <laughs> I, what are you, Jared? Like six eight? I, I, I would put six eight. It'd be my guess. He's he's a tall guy. <laughs> I'm six five. Let's see here. Um, Tim, you can't go wrong with the Tequila Vista Pro. Oh, I'm completely. He he did say vintage, but as far as Vista Vision glass uh, for cheaper. Oh man, the Vistas are gorgeous. My personal, I love the Vista ones even more, but those are now sold out. They have officially sold out of all Vista ones. Um, and th that was a limited set. Um, but the Vista ones to me, they just were so pretty, so pretty. Uh, have I had a chance to compare it to Monstro? Which one has more DR? I have not had a direct one-to-one -one comparison. I've used Monstro. Uh, I know how it, I know how it feels and how it shoots. They are really close to each other. Uh, I think DR. I think they're the same. The the Raptor has a few more tricks up its sleeve, image-wise, to make it prettier. Uh, according to Jared dropping tonight, um, it has a new um, it has a new low-pass filter. Um, which fixes a few things. So it's prettier on skin, gets rid of the sun orbs, does a lot of things that have caused irritation amongst some of us. Not very often, but yeah, I mean, if you, if you ever shot an old epic against the sun and you get the floating orbs of, of orange. I remember, that was funny, the very first day, the very first day I got my, my epic dragon, I went out there and I, I literally chased my wife. <laughs> I said, go run. I'm going to shoot in slow motion. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just running with this thing. And the sun's in the background. She's backlit. It's beautiful. Everything. And I get it back. And right off the bat, I'm like, what are these orbs? And that was before they had the standard filter, which the standard filter is uh, much better with the orbs. And now it's getting better and better and better. There you go. Um, Jared's 6'7". So you're only two inches taller than me. God, it feels so much more. <laughs> I mean, I'm just not used to looking up at anybody. I mean, sometimes I get on the level with, with people, but it's it's pretty rare. Uh, any word on ProRes recording full sensor frame rates, etc.? I don't have any information on that. Jared might answer that below. Might not. I don't know. Uh, is Raptor better with highlights or shadows? As I understand it, Raptor is about the same on highlights, but better in shadows than Monstro. Congrats, going to do some high-speed tests with RF to EF Speed Booster tonight in 4K and 2K. <laughs> yeah, I get the smile. I get it. Um, which lens with mine? Okay, Clayton says, uh, are we getting any low-profile Timmy Rib style side plates for the Raptor movie work? I don't know. That's a good question. That would be a GDU question. Um, oh, Jared says, yes, we are. Um uh, I have a small HD Focus Pro mo monitor with a Komodo control option. Can I use the monitor with Raptor and control the camera through the monitor? I don't know that. I don't know. Uh, I mean, if it's anything like this, there's ways of doing things. Like port keys manage to make it work through here. So somebody can probably figure out something. Um... This is uh, Tim most likely Sigma glass for glass for the sharpness. I like Sigma glass. I like Sigma glass. You can always add texture. Can't take it away. Jared says I have a lot of lenses and don't know why, but I seem to always put the Sigma. I mean, that's <laughs> I may have just said why. I mean, Sigmas are so sharp. They're just blatantly sharp, um, and. You can always add contrast. You can always take away contrast. You can always put filtration on and make it any style you want. But you can't 
always make a sharp glass. So when you start with Sigmas, it's it's pretty phenomenal. Um, Tim says, Timmy Ribs for Raptor, you say? Um, How's the Raptor SDI connection with third-party monitors? I love my Komodos to death, but the only thing I find is finicky is the SDI connectivity, which gets tricky when shooting underwater. I've not shot underwater. That was literally my 2020 goal, and you know, you know how 2020 goals went. Uh, I mean, so it is 12G, so it is going to have the same industry-wide uh, concerns that everyone has with 12G. Follow the rules. Uh, I mean, I have them favorited on my phone. I have them on my iPad. Anybody that ever uses my Komodo, same thing. They get a copy of it. Just follow the sequence. The sequence is not hard. It's just an order of operations to make sure you don't send a voltage spike through um, the camera. Also, 12G has a smaller diameter pin than 3G, so you can stretch it out. They they seem to have helped that on... Um, on, on of late by keeping that compressed down. But 12G, industry-wide issue, it's, it's not a red problem to solve. It is just because there's a lot of reds out there. Airy has the same problems. Um, so the cool thing, dual SDIs. That's really cool. And you can send two different signals. That's pretty cool. Uh, Timmy Ribs Pro. I don't, you don't get a Timmy Ribs Pro. No, you get a Timmy, Timmy Ribs XL. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> uh, the Artisan Shop, uh, would you buy four Komodos or one Raptor? Uh, that completely depends on what I'm buying them for. Me personally, I would have the Raptor because that's what I need. The, that's what I shoot more than anything. Um, if I could have a Raptor and a Komodo, I'm totally doing that. But four Komodos for what I shoot? I mean, I wouldn't say no, because, I mean, I could definitely set up some shots. Um, but, yeah, the Raptor. The, the Raptor for Scott. That's, that's, that's a win there. Uh, Raptor ribs just works. It does not. Ollie, do not, do not encourage him. It, it needs to be Timmy Ribs XL. Uh, Komodo or Raven, which is your run and gun set? Um, well, I mean, Raven is a fantastic camera. It's, it's a dragon sensor. I love dragon. Komodo is is just so darn cute. Uh, now Komodo Komodo is just up to date, so it is really slick. I love Komodo. I really. I mean, I I remember I was going to get a Raven for my my um, as a companion, and I ended up not. And I don't remember why. I felt like I wasn't going to use it as much. I know that I had bought the Ursa the Ursa Mini four point six. And I didn't use it as much. Plus, it was a giant potato. I don't understand why anybody would. Never mind. Everybody makes everything different. Um, the football cam that Ursa was. Um, but Komodo, oh, man, is it a stellar B cam for Dragon, stellar B cam for, for Raptor, stellar A cam for just by itself. I mean, I would go Komodo over. Uh, I mean, unless, unless, unless the price is... is uh, I mean, if you can pick up a, a uh, if you can pick one up really cheap compared to Komodo, I mean, if, if you're on a budget, there's nothing wrong with it. A Raven is a nice camera. It's just older, and it's 4.5K. So it, it is what it is. Uh, do, 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 do. Schaefer says, uh, long shot here, but a 5-inch Pogo touch monitor for Komodo would be so clutch. Really excited about Red's been noodling with the terms of DSM-3 and global goodness. Uh, Jacob says, you and Jared shooting the wrong stuff. Get these tall fellows on layers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's kind of funny. My poor wife, she was, uh, I, I told this earlier, she was, we were getting that epic 8K120 Scott smoking a cigar in backlit by the sunset. And I'm really tall, and it was the only place where we could get the sun. And so she's like trying like crazy to get to get, and, and she's like her, her atrophy and her muscles, and she's just holding it up over her head trying to get that shot. She got it though. You'll see the footage. If it's if it's me smoking the cigar, she shot that. So we can give her props when when does it. Um, 
Leonardo says, I don't know anything about 12G SDI. Why use a port that you have to be so mindful of 4K? You, 12G SDI gets you 4K. When you need 4K, and there are a lot of productions, and this is a, an ongoing argument in several of the, of the Facebook groups, if production says we're monitoring 4K, it doesn't really matter if you say, well, 1080p is good enough. If production tells you we're monitoring 4K, you'd better come up with a 4K solution. So now RED has 4K. And, and what I was trying to explain to people is no camera manufacturer is looking into the past. No camera manufacturer is going to say, well, you know, 3G has been good and standard because that's how you don't make a sale. You've got to embrace the future, get on board, and ride forward. And that's why we have 12G. Yeah, it may be a little finicky in the world, but follow the directions. It works every time. Um, I'm not. I'm not griping anybody. I'm just. I'm just saying. Um, Scott, don't forget about the hand gestures when. <laughs> no, Ollie. No. <laughs> It'll, it'll be like the one thing that YouTube scans on mine that, that, that demonetizes me. <laughs> they are a great base. Sigmas, yep, yep, gotcha, okay. Um, have you ever tested RF lenses with autofocus? Yes. Uh, is it the same with Komodo or better? What I tested, and I don't have any RF here, but I had it back uh, this weekend, and what I found is that it feels to me, and... And I don't have RF to put on Komodo, but I have EF that works like nicely on a Komodo. It feels like the Raptor is snappier. And it's also really accurate. Um, I don't know. Is, is it possible that it's because it has 8K of pixels uh, uh, as opposed to 6K? I don't think so. I don't know. There's something that's snappier with... Um, uh, with with the RF Canon glass, it was really, really snappy. And I will, um, I will post some of that, Graham, if you're still on. I, I, I downloaded all that footage, so we still have it. Graham and I were just sitting there. We were just playing away at it. It was a, it was a lot of fun. Um, Curtis says, love Sigma. Yep, yep. Uh, this might be a question for Phil, but would the Sigma Classics be a good route for a vintage look? Phil, you want to take that one, buddy? Phil, Phil right now, he's probably doing 12 things. He's listening in the background, and now he just heard me say, Phil, you want to take that one? And now he's making a mad dash over to the computer, and then he's going to type something in, probably something like, ha, 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 you got me, Scott, or he's not on here at all. I don't know. You never know. Uh, let's see here. Um, all right, he's got more questions. I mean, we've been going two hours. I mean, everybody's a trooper. we got... Nice, nice, good group of people. And we will have, Jared's already agreed to it, we just don't know when, we will have a live stream with Jared on video so he can answer rather than typing because now I feel really guilty. I didn't know you were going to join, Jared. I would have totally set all that up ahead of time. <laughs> I really appreciate you joining, though. Uh, Sean says, how do you find the form factor versus DSMC2? It's a good question. Um... It feels, I mean, it feels very Komodo-esque. Komodo, Komodo, Komodo-y, Komodo-y, Komodo-y. Um, let me get what I can see. I mean, they're very, I mean, this is unfair because I, I have some rod rails on the front. Um, this is shorter. And it's, well, let's see. I didn't realize that. It's, it's. I guess it is exactly the same length. It's not taller though, because the, the the rail. Well, you can't see; it's not fair. <laughs> the, uh, the the rod mount I have in the front is is making it look. Um, let's see if we can get just right there. So that rod mount is. Look at the back of this versus the front, because um, well, I mean, it's it's still. I mean, it's smaller. Um, I. That's heavy. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm very used to the DSMC2, so don't get me wrong. Um, it is uh, it is 
it is easy to, to get used to. I feel, I mean, it's, it's very Komodo-esque. If I had the, the touchscreen monitor, I probably would have just picked it up and started going, although I don't know what the menu system looks like on the touchscreen monitor. That would be something interesting to see. I don't think I saw it. Um, so, I mean, form factor, it's, it's just a small cube, um, kind of like Komodo. This is just a smaller cube, and I love small form factors. It definitely is a nice treat. There we go. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Um, Artisan shop. If you add the option to you videos to see them with subtitles, you will have a lot more people following you. But didn't, don't I have it? I thought subtitles is on. I turned it on everything. Oh, closed captions is off. Poop. Sorry about that. I mean, I have it on all my videos. It does subtitles. I didn't realize it was off. So, yeah, thank, thank you. I will, I will make a note of that for the future. Uh, dynamic range improvements over Monstro. No dynamic range improvements as far as I can tell. I mean, microscopic. They both are 17 stops. But the shadows uh, on Raptor look a little better um, than Monstro. I mean, it's Monstro is so already out there as far as like, like being stellar that I mean it's hard to improve. And, th and this is this is a conversation I was having with someone too. You're not going to see gigantic swings um, because you're getting so good. I mean, Monstro is already so good that to make a massive improvement um, in in performance is is going to just knock it up a small amount. You're, you're talking percentages, small percentages at this point, because you're just refining and adding, refining and adding. You're not you're not creating an entirely new way of doing something. So it's 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 noticeable in the shadows, but it is every bit as good as Monstro Plus, and then double. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. um, thanks for the stream, Scott. Really appreciate this. Yeah, anytime. I, I do live streams all the time, not as often as I used to, um, but my internet seems to be doing really well, so yay, we'll be doing these again. Um, I like Komodo-esque, yes. Uh, we need more videos like you are doing. I'm happy to do them. I, I, I love putting people together with, with people and... I mean, when I was doing the interview series, I loved it. And then my internet went, Poof. I was waiting for, for Elon to give me my satellite, but now I have to wait till January. Um, thanks for the in-hand side-by-side. Looks like a dwarf DSZ2 with sidekick. I mean, it's, they're the same length. Uh, this one is definitely taller. I mean, the way I picture it is if you take off this bottom chunk right here, then it's about the same is what it feels like to me. But again, it's nice because the fan, like this reminds me of the, like the, the, uh, um, the, what the heck? <laughs> the, the, before the XL, you had the red, the, the big one with everything all built. Why is that going out of my brain? But they went with a big, bigger centralized cooling with larger fans, and it made it quieter. These have the smaller uh, cooling fans like on the original Epic, but a different path. Uh, this shares with the... How am I not... Wow. Senior moment. Uh, let's see here. Um... Tim says, not only do we thank Scott for doing this, but Graham Clark for the breakthrough filters. Who loves Scott? Yes, yes. I definitely thanked him up front and a couple times in between. But yes, this is breakthrough photographies. Uh, their filters, cinemadfm.com for the variable ND and drop-ins. Uh, and I mean, there's, there's no words I can say to, other than thank you, thank you, thank you um, to put this in my hands and help get information out to people. 
Um, yep. Uh, will productions not take Raptors seriously because it's so small? No. No, because you're going to build it big. Uh, I mean, and, and quite honestly, if a production is that crucial, you're probably looking at an XL anyway. Um, so it's, and that's not small. Um, Ignacio says, uh, have you gotten a chance to try any V-mount or gold mount adapters with the Raptor? No, but Jared did drop that they will be making an adapter to allow full size to work. So there's that. Um, anamorphic modes on Raptor. Yes, they're all there. Um, all of them. Um, doo -doo -doo project. You won't be able to see it because my overhead camera is not working. But they have the... Phil, Phil did it. Uh, he just released a thing that shows them all. So there are... So you have 4x3, 2x. You have 6.5, 2x. Then you have 1.8. You have 1.6. You have 1.5. You have 1.3. You have a 1.25. All of those anim hiccups. All those anamorphic options are already in Raptor, ready to go. Um, uh, any chance to make a new OLPF similar to Raptors for DSMC2? My guess is they wouldn't. Um, I mean, th there's not many people in the world who go back and and update things in the past. I mean, once once it's done, it's done. Uh, it just, I mean, it, it becomes more of a pain in the rear otherwise. Um, let's see here. Um, Ranger. Thank you, Clayton. Ranger. Yes. Ranger. Old age. Thanks, Curtis. DSMC one. Now uh, I was meeting Ranger. So like the Ranger uses this big centralized, larger diameter fan. And the first time that I, I used Ranger, um, it was so quiet. It was, I was like, whoa, that was, it was night and up. Uh, I was like, whoa, my, my best Keanu. Um, regarding the fans, yep, yep, yep. Uh, can you lift the camera? Show us a bit on camera all around. Sure, yeah. Um, let me see if I can get this one to come back to live. And then, um, yeah, there we go. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Did it really just go back off? Did it really? It did. Well, I can't show you that. Okay. I'll show you up here. Uh, let me see what I can see. I mean, I could use a mirror. and I, cause, I mean, I have. I mean, this is, uh, is it right here? <laughs> it's not the size you can see. Uh, okay. So this is the Raptor on the side, and this has a custom painted. Jared, you do need to make a Stormtrooper side handle. Um, uh, this is the side here. The media goes right here. And this is so satisfying. Let me eject this and I'll, oops, menu, media, eject. Oh, I don't have media in it. <laughs> so this is so different. So I call the, um, the Komodo, the Tonka truck of, of side doors. Cause you. It has this metal Tonka truck sounding uh, side. This one, no, no, this is. It is so satisfyingly good. Uh, you got some air intakes on both sides um, right here. And over here, they're sucking in and blowing out the top, which the top is right here. There are no buttons or anything on the top, just a lot of quarter 20s. And I, I do have to laugh because people keep pointing it out that each of these quarter 20s is labeled as a quarter 20. <laughs> I did find that hilarious. Um, the side over here, you have the screen. You have eight buttons right here, right there. There's eight and there's, there are four and four. These have some customized, uh, they, they have a, a set of predefined pages and then there is a customizable page as well. And then the bottom uh, just has the Kessler quick stand on the bottom, but it, it's that way. And then the back, so you have uh, up at the top, you have USB-C, you have a wireless antenna right here. This is SDI-1, SDI-2, you have a headphone adapter, 
And this is that special audio uh, adapter, which is kind of cool. That, that should give you better audio. I can't test that because I don't have that. Uh, DCI, DCN, and then this is the, the expansion port for um, the ex ex external expansion. What is that for? Is that, is that also giggy or is it just USB giggy? I guess it's USB giggy only. Um, so that's a look. I mean, if you have a specific question you want me to show you, um, ask away and I will, I will do that. And I can, where is, I don't know why the Sony cameras won't run off a of USB unless it's not plugged in. Oh, wouldn't that be hilarious? Way to go, Scott. Yeah, I bet you that's it. I bet you it's not plugged in. Yeah, I'm pretty smart. Not smart enough. Um, yeah, that's right there. Oh, boy. So we're going to plug this in real quick because we care. And maybe I can get you some overhead shots. That's pretty pathetic. What can I say? I can't, I can't really say anything. That's, that's a Scotty failure right there for you. All right, let's get back to the questions. Um, uh, I think Ranger is the word. Yep. Uh, and Mario, if you need anything, just uh, ask away. I will give that five minutes and then I will pop it up. Uh, have you tried the RS2 gimbal with Raptor? No, I have not, but someone did. I don't remember who it was. Someone balanced it on there with a small lens and ran around with it. I'm sure they had like Popeye arms, uh, but it actually looked really good. Uh, I, was, I was pretty impressed. I don't know who that was, if someone can call them out in there because they, they did a good test. I don't have the RS2, so I can't uh, do that test. Um, Jared Land says, love the Sydney Shooter. Oh yeah, Sydney Shooter is over there. I broke my scotch glass, but, but I got the shot. <laughs> uh, Mario says, nice. Uh, Sean says, a dual or single media? Single media. Um, can't, you can use bigger V-locks on this. Mario, according to Jared, they are making an adapter that will allow you to use full size. Um, how long does one of those small form V-locks run for so the 98 watt hour batteries that, that's on here will run just over 60 minutes i think it's like 62 or 63. um i mean it's it sucks the power <laughs> uh let's see ali says if anyone can do justice to a city shooter test it's scott <laughs> thank you ali um mario says does it have internal audio it does it has better audio than um than Komodo. It has an audio adapter. I forget the term that, that they, uh, ADUC or something like that, um, where it has balanced audio in with phantom power. So that's even better. Um, Mario says, thanks for showing. Liked the vid. Already subbed. Thank you. Uh, Jared Land, this guy might have sold me a new Raptor. <laughs> Send him a kid. No. Jar Jared is, is a great guy. I'd do anything for the guy. And, and Red. Red is just fantastic company but yeah i mean cool um new red volt micros versus gdu micros in your opinion my opinion um i mean the gdus look cool i'll give you that uh to me I, I imagine they're going to be very similar in performance they're all both 98s i heard somebody's going to be making a 140 uh micro which is kind of cool um yeah let's see uh, oh, Matthew Stanley did that. Okay, so Matthew Stanley is the one who did the uh, the RS2 gimbal shot. So kudos to Matthew for that because it, it looked really good. Um, Luca, hey, Luca. Hi from Italy. Good to see you. Uh, you have any questions about the, the Red Raptor? I'm here to answer everyone's questions until my internet dies, which so far has been over two hours. Um, Hey, also love the vids, by the way. Thanks for making the time and answering all the questions. I mean, honestly, right now, we need to give uh, a, a couple of shouts out to many people answering questions. Jared Land, 
the the guy from Red, you know, the president of Red. He's on here answering questions left and right. So let's let's just all give him a hand. And we are going to do a live stream. He's already said yes, so I have to hold him to it. Uh, we'll we'll have him on video where he can talk. Um, and then also Phil and Tim and, and everybody else on here. And then again, Graham from Breakthrough. This is Breakthrough Photography's Raptor that they loaned to me. I mean, who loans Scott a camera? It seems awful dangerous. <laughs> um, let's see here. Tim, my Tilta Advanced uh, rig finally shipped today. Can't wait to toss the Raptor on the RS2. Perfect. Uh, rolling shutter. Yes, it has, it has rolling shutter, but... So the way rolling shutter reads is the fast, how fast it can read out on the sensor. So a sensor that has a slow readout is going to have more of that jello feel. And I will be doing a test to show in a comparison of these three um, when I do my, my full review video. Um, but the sensor readout on this is over twice as fast as Monstro. So the rolling shutter is pretty, pretty tiny. I just pushed a random button. Just go to black screen there. Um, Clayton says, I think Anton Bauer have a 140 micro. Not sure if it's a micro or mini since they I don't own any. Yeah, minis won't work. It's got to be micro until, until Jared drops that uh, little adapter, which I think will sell like crazy. So let's see here. Um, Core has a 147 nano micro battery. There you go. Is it nanos? Is that what? Oh, they are nanos. Sorry. I think I think this the shape of them are just micro, but this is this is a core nano. I know Blue Shape is working on one. A um, lot of options out there. GDUs. They're pretty. They're, they're red. They're red, 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 red. GDU red. Um, uh, autofocus test, please. I can't. Um, I guess I can. I probably can. Um, well, let's see how it works with the EF. Because I know how it works with RF. I need... Oh, I can't use that lens. Oh, my. That'll be interesting. Let's just go with... I'm sorry, I had to disappear. I don't know if this one works. We'll see. I might just be pushing the envelope here. But we will go with a Canon... 100 millimeter full frame macro, 2.8. And this also has IS on it. So we'll find out if that works. I know the RF does. Wrong way. I'm all backwards. Let's do autofocus. Let me see if the stabilizer works. Work 2.8. I just, want to, I just want to see if it works real quick, the stabilizer. No, I don't think the stabilizer works. All right, so let's test. Let me set this up, and then I will switch it over, and we'll just do tap tests. I don't know what we're going to scan in here. This will be interesting. Go here. Oh, am I still connected? No, I'm not. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's better. All right, let's see here. Boop. That was interesting. Let's see that. Am I on, on continuous? I need to sit. Hold on. Let me set my thing. Just one second. Bear with me as I, I do live tests here. Um... Autofocus beta, autofocus on continuous, large, autofocus size will go to medium, done, um, start autofocus. So let's see if we then tap back. Is this updating? Yeah, it's updating, okay. That was weird, it worked. I don't know if this lens works. With the RF, it was, it was pretty phenomenal. What are we doing here? Oh. Oh, it is working. There we go. Hold on. 
This is probably not a good. Let me just. I was trying to avoid getting the sigma because the sigma is not full frame. Let me check the chat here real quick. Hold on. Um, I'll focus. Okay. Uh, have you tried? Uh, I have not tried the way, but I have a friend who has, and it's it's not great if you're shooting higher 480. If you're going to the HD, it's pretty bad. And please upsell everyone and do V Raptors. So DSMC2 use market drops. No, no, no. You you could buy my Dragon X at the top of the market, and then I'll tell everybody to buy it because I, I gotta sell mine first. <laughs> Does six, uh, 62 minutes on a 98 watt hour include powering the monitor? Um, I'm getting about an hour with my monitor, so maybe? Yeah, uh, runtime will depend a lot on heat as well, but a good chunk of power goes to the, the Peltier. Yeah, the Peltier coolers, Peltier coolers are cooler. That's kind of a pun. Let me grab a different lens. Um, yeah, Peltiers, if, if anybody doesn't know what those are, those are really slick and fun, too. Let's see, Sigma 18-35, to 35. so I'll have to drop, well, I don't know, it'll work, and it's not going to work in full frame, but we'll see what it does. Because I'll, I'll cut to it as soon as I get a, a lens that works. I don't know that this lens is even supported. Jared's over there going, why don't you use an RF? I don't want any RF. All right, autofocus. Let's see here. Boop. Boop. All right, let's zoom in. Wow, this is so... Boop. Hmm. I need to zoom in. Um, it's It's working. But I have to zoom in for a different reason. <laughs> I can't show everything over there. Um, hold on. One second. There's, there's some embargo stuff over there. I can't. Wow, really? Even that? Let's see. Does that work? Boop. Uh, all right. So you're going to see my really, really horrible, horrible... Um, and I'm just using um, I'm just using the app here. Wow! <laughs> See how that worked? I'm using the app. Oh, this will be meta. We tap the center. Oh, okay, okay. So I was just using the app, and I'm tapping for autofocus. So right now it's on continuous. Mm. It's on continuous. It's, you can see the green box? It just locks right on in. I mean, it's it's pretty good and this is with an EF I, I, I want I want this to work I want I want this to to, to travel into time <laughs> okay does that does that work for autofocus test um, let me know I'll do some more I'm, I'm happy to do so hi buddy what you doing back there you making clickies you good boy all right, so back to the questions here. Um, okay, so question for Phil. Any word on film color three? Oh yeah, Phil. I don't know if Phil's back on here still. He might be. He might be working on film color three, but I know he's really, really close. Uh, Clayton says similar to DCMC two. I think stabilization only works while recording. Not sure though. Yeah, I have, I have some weird issues with with certain lenses that I really wish stabilization did work, and it, and it hasn't for me. Um, if runtime also depends on heat, it means I probably got like 30 minutes at 90 watt hour because the Bahamas is hot. It's, it's 97 degrees, uh, here, uh, yesterday and, uh, it was cranking away. I mean, the fan was spinning, but it wasn't, it wasn't horrible. Uh, I think the monitor is pulling a lot too, because it's a, it's a, this one is a bright monitor. The small HD uh, slash red monitor is 1,300 nits. This is 3,000. I'm not running it at, at full, so it should be a little bit better with the red one. Um, um, Jared said, Leonardo, don't underestimate the joy of white paint if you're playing in the sun all day. <laughs> Uh, Lucas says, can you assign autofocus to a key and toggle it on and off? Yes. On the side here, let me open this up now. Now that I've plugged it in and Scott has achieved 
live stream level two, he can now demonstrate um, this overhead. Um, let me move Komodo. Komodo. And we'll go here. And then I can see. <coughs> Sorry. And then we're going to zoom in here. So these are the menus here. So there is a custom menu. Let me get to it. There's user here. So right here, you can do start autofocus. You see it. Well, you probably can't read it, but it says start autofocus. You can click it right there. Uh, you can assign it to any of those buttons on the user page. I also have iris open and close right here, which you can't see because my fat finger's in the way. But so like you can close the iris and open the iris. You can just assign whatever you want to the user page. And I thought I read that there were three user pages, but there may just be one. I don't know. Uh, but you can program this however you'd like. And then you got audio uh, for various audios. You got your SDI, so you can quickly uh, turn on tools or not on each. Um, and then you have the types of tools that you'd like, and they're two different zebras. Um, and then you have your nice full histogram. Um, and you also have, there's, here, there's already an autofocus. So there's a start autofocus here, autofocus continuous or, or one shot. Uh, the position of it is whether it's in the middle or custom. Uh, I'm using the touch on the app, so it was custom. And then the size of it right here was set to medium. But all of that is, is clicked right here uh, on that first one. And then that's your main menu right there. And yeah, there you go. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Um, Leonardo said, Jared, too bad I'll end up getting the black model. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm sold already. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Raptor is really cool. Uh, really cool really cool i mean look at this pixelation this posterization Ugh. raptor is cool okay um i just saw a komodo mark ii on the shelf you did not see it it's not on that shelf no i don't have one um no i it's 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 this closer area that i have to be very careful of uh, on that shelf um whoops what did i click on there we go uh let's see here um Wow, okay, so Jared uh, has Ty Evans gotten to play with one yet? That's a question for Jared. Uh, it is, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's faster than Komodo. And I'm glad to say, now testing that with, with I mean, it's on my list of things to test with, with all my glass here. That wasn't just RF that was fast, that was fast with EF. Uh, I, was, I was very happy to see that, so it wasn't just the RF. Um, do, 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 do. Matt says, uh, picked mine up yesterday from Max Digital in Costa Mesa. Uh, this will be my first cinema camera. Super excited to get shooting and just waiting on the card. Thanks for the breakdown. Absolutely anytime. And I know you're going to be so pleased. And boy, I tell you, what a, uh, what a first cinema camera to get. <laughs> Uh, Chris says, hey, Scott, do you mostly do commercial or documentary work? I do uh, nature documentary, uh, but mostly I do commercial work. Um, I do a variety of uh, shoots. Um, I try uh, to put in documentary into commercial work as much as possible, um, meaning I try to tell stories in a commercial. I like to do long-form commercials. Uh, but then I'm also doing camera. I'm also a DIT at times, and then I do motion control. I do a lot of motion control on commercials as well because I love all of the above. Um, uh, Flip says, how does that Sigma lens autofocus compare to the Komodo? It's faster. It's faster on here. Without a question, it's faster on here. That was, I mean, that was really snappy, and that was EF through an adapter. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> Leonardo says autofocus is pretty good. Jared says, John, to quick change from shutter degrees to shutter angle, you can just hold down the shutter button. You could thank Phil for that. You can also just do it on here. So you just hold down the shutter button, huh? Let's see. Let's, let's do this live. Let me make sure I can see. And that is not, there we go, there's the side. Wow, I gotta move this thing all the way over. Okay, so here's the shutter button. Oh, yeah, there we go. Phil, there you go. Phil did it. It's all Phil's fault. Now we have the shutter button. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Trent retracted his message. Uh, there are three user pages available, but only one user page is enabled by default. Gotcha. Okay. So I thought I saw that somewhere, 
And glad to know it's in there. I just hadn't gotten to it. Uh, Luca says, time loss mode, it's coming, coming soon. Jared still has not answered that, and I bet he's not going to. Uh, Komodo time lapse mode is coming around November-ish for a perfect Balkum Christmas. Um, so again, this is in the same world. So what works for this should be easier to get to here than to go from this to this. Um, or I'm completely full of it. And Jared's back there laughing, going, just tell him all that crap, Scott. Just whatever you <laughs> No, this is supposed to be November-ish. Um, imagine autofocus with native RF lens. This absolutely bonkers. Yeah. It, it, it freaked me out at first because I did not have image stabilization on anything on my Kubota when I put the RF on here. And I was like, am I seriously this stable? And then I realized it was, it was IS. And then we are just, we're tap autofocus. It was it was pretty amazing. Is there a fast way to change lens f stop? Yeah. Um, so what I did, which is up here. Oh boy, you almost got a view. Um, as I I have it configured right here. So I just have iris up, iris down on my custom page. But there was also a page that it was already on. Um, so yeah, you could do it that way. And then the way, like Jared said, the way to really control this camera is the touchscreen monitor. Because if you ever used a red, boop, 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 you're, just, you're having a blast and you're done. Um, is there a monitor out there that controls Raptor? Yeah, there is one. It's the red monitor uh, partnered with Small HD. And uh, yeah, it controls it. Um, favorite recent past 10 years film? Sorry, I ran out of Raptor questions. Favorite recent, ooh, past 10 years. Um, you know, call, call me a sappy guy, but I found St. Vincent, the Bill Murray one, um, to be one of the best movies in the last 10 years. I, I've probably watched that movie more times than I should have, and every time it moves me the same way, and that is cool for a movie if it can move you. So, yeah, uh, St. Vincent for me it would be with that. Tim, uh, we'll do it live. <laughs> Flip says, uh, while it is faster, would you say the Komodo still hits focus targets accurately with the Sigma? Yes, it does. Um, there are a few few quirks, uh, but it has gotten better with firmware updates. Um, originally, it was it was a little quirky. It's better now. It gets it, um, and it's it's pretty pretty usable. I I would say, um, I would say it's it's like an eighty five percent. Scale of of quality on Komodo, and and it's gotten better. This one, man, that felt that felt ninety plus. I, like, let's let's call Canon's dual pixel like a hundred, and we'll call the latest Sony about ninety five. So we're getting really good. And Sony wasn't ninety five uh, a, a couple years back. They were about ninety. So this is already. You can see how much they learn each time they do it. And yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, can't wait to try this on a gimbal with that autofocus. Yeah, no kidding, Ali. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. Face tracking autofocus. I don't know. It's a good question. I don't see why not. I just don't know if they did that, uh, where that would be in the pipeline. Cause I mean, their learning as they go. Uh, let's let's give them time to to figure everything out right. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. So after our convo, I bought another Nova 300 and did not pre-order the 600. Thanks, man. You saved me money. That's what I'm here for, Tom. How are things across the, the planet? <laughs> Can you choose any frame rate on Raptor? No, you have, you're limited right now. <clears throat> Sorry, cough. Uh, you're limited to what's in here right now, program. So uh, the lowest speed that they go is like Komodo's 2398, uh, but they have all the higher frame rates in in chunks. Whereas um, I didn't notice, like like on on DSMC two, you can go in and add in frame rates. You could add custom frame rates in there. I didn't notice that that was in here. I don't think it was. Uh, I don't know if it will be. It might be, or it might already be in there, and I just have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, 
So 2398 and then up to and including the maximum of the resolution. So in 8K, it is, um, I did switch it to 6K, didn't I? In 8K, the maximum is 2398 to 120. Um, I need to switch that back. Did I? I did, yeah, okay. So yeah, um, let's see here. Do, 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 select. Okay, there we go. Now we got some vignetting. Yeah, baby. Actually, that's not horrible. Oh, there's the vignette. <laughs> okay. Um, what about color difference? Do you see better colors with Raptor compared to Monstro? I mean, I'd say they're close. Um, I don't have a Monstro here. Uh, but I've shot with Monstro a couple of times, and uh, the the color the color is at least as good as Monstro. If I had one side by side, I know a couple of people who've done that, and they said, "Yeah, you could see it." Um, I don't have one here, so I can't directly say, but my gut is telling me that it's 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 a little better. Um, Let's see here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Your connection speed seems great today, by the way. Yeah, it's it's weird. I've I've like dropped nothing. Um, I'm not gonna knock on wood here, just just to be safe. Um, now we're still cruising along. Um, uh, but up, but up, but up. Clayton, who has the who's had the biggest impact on you as a cinematographer? And creative in the film industry. Oh man, that's a that's a tough one for me. Um, I don't. I, I I don't have a direct person in mind. What I will say is the internet. The internet opened doors to allow DPs, professional DPs, to talk to a schlubs out here, those of us who are learning. Um, and I mean, literally allowed me to ask questions of some phenomenal DPs and, and some, some also who are, are smarter than I am DPs. So, I mean, the internet really was the biggest help because all of those DPs now became mentors to me. All of, well, became Va they didn't personally take a, a mentor stake in me, but they, they've all helped me um, grow, and that, that I love. I mean, I've, I've made some great connections where literally 20 years, gosh, how long has it been, Jerry, DVX user? Um, people I met way back then that I'm friends with still today um, and, and learn from every single day. So, yeah, that. Uh, Jared says, face tracking, our engineers have a sandbox working on some pretty cool cool image tracking analysis learning in their spare time. There is some processing in Raptor dedicated for the, oh, ho, 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 ho. There's, there's Jared dropping a little bomb on everybody. Do you think the RF mount on Raptor is more secure than Komodo? Yes. The, the locking RF is absolutely more secure. Uh, it's, it's kind of cool. I like it. Um, but it is a spare time work right now. The red engineers are insane in the good kind of way. So that just tells you, that just tells you everybody there loves what they do and we love what they do too. Um, thanks Jared. Let's see. Um, the mount is way, way, way more secure on Raptor. It is. I mean, I'm not going to say what I had hanging off of it. Jared knows what I had hanging off of it the other day. But the, the locking V-mount is, is really, really good. Um, but I wasn't, I wasn't Jared Land 50 to 1,000 um, Cine lens hanging off, but he did have lens support, so good for him. Um, let's see here. Uh, Maestro Shane. I mean, Shane helps, absolutely. I've learned a lot from Shane. And, and Shane has a way of... of Shane has a way of connecting to me. I mean, I took I took his uh, live courses, and I I'm much much more a visual learner, so that was really helpful for me. Um, is it the double lock? Oh, it is the double lock. Yeah, there you go. Um, 
Do, 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 do. I recommend 8 Sid and Evolution Cage and PL Mount. Yep, 8 Sid makes a good cage. Um, I have one over there for Komodo. Um, about face tracking, that is dope to hear. Yeah, that's that's an understatement, Leonardo. That's an understatement. <laughs> Luca, Hurlbut Academy, guys, just, just wow. Yeah, I mean, Shane being out there, being accessible, it is it is mind blowing that that we have this ability today. And I mean, the internet, social media, I could do without social media, but I cannot do without the group, the, the group connections in social media. That is where I spend most of my days uh, is just in the groups chatting with people who are all like minded. We're all we're all, you know, just trying to trying to do better among our, ourselves. And remember, remember my I don't know who I learned this from, but you can learn at least one thing from every single person that you meet, even if it's something you don't like, it's something not to do. You can learn at least one thing. So never close your mind off. Always continue to learn from everybody and anybody. Just like tonight, we learned that Jared has a little sandbox for some face tracking. <laughs> uh, Leonardo, uh, though when Shane said, um, you aren't beholden to the sun, I was like, well, I'm beholden to the sun. No 20 by 20 is where I'm at. I mean, you gotta make you gotta make do with what you got. Uh, I mean, 15 years ago, I would not have thought that I would have a studio where I have sets. Um, also, the uh, this set, I've been talking to a lot of, of puppet people. This set is getting cloned over there for puppets. That's a sneak peek there for you. I mean, I don't think that's as big as face tracking autofocus, but I mean, it's 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 good for the puppets because the puppets are coming. All right, who's got more questions? I'm ready to go. We got we got the uh, overhead camera seems to be working now that I plugged it in, um, and I can answer more questions or visually show more up here, or I can demonstrate um, the app. I can demonstrate. Well, I mean, we can go through the app if anybody would like to see the app. We, we've let's see here let me bring this up make sure no one's going to text me in the middle of this because i don't know why people do that and then we'll place this right here which is hopefully right side up and then we click on it and then that's the wrong one thank god i wasn't showing that part of the uh yeah, there we go okay so here's the app um so you can literally go in here and choose the resolution. There's all your resolutions. I mean, whatever you want. They're they're in a strange order. I don't know why that is. I guess there's like the top ones are at the, the like the most used are at the top. But I mean, like literally every resolution is here. So if you want to drop it into to whatever resolution you like, there's 8K, 2 to 1, 16 by 9, 17 by 9. Boom, ding. Um, shutter speed. Here's all your shutter speeds. Or you can just whoop, whoop. The sound effects really, really make it worthwhile, does it not? Um, and if there's something you'd like to see on the app, uh, post it in the comments down below. ISO, you can go here, um, 800. I mean, you're, you're seeing it live as I'm demonstrating it live while demonstrating it live while touch focusing live. <laughs> and your, your quality settings here, medium medium, high, and low, and I I really do hope that we'll get an ultra low. I think that would be cool. You got your audio meters down here. You can play back here, but I can't play back because, hey, Scott, you don't have anything in there. Um, your project time base here goes up to 60. Uh, your voltage down here, uh, you can do log, uh, log view. Uh, you can do false color, pops that bad boy up. You can do all of that right on there. My nose is itchy. Um, doo -doo -doo. So this, this is the record, so you can start recording here, or if you are doing uh, pre-record, you tap it one time and it's in pre-record mode, then you tap it again to commit, and then it records from there. Uh, your tent here, you got your histogram here, and this is your, um, your new stoplights, which are pretty cool. Let me make sure. Um, doo -doo -doo. Jimmy says, "What are you going to narrate some films?" I, I'm happy to narrate anybody's films. I've I've done some voiceover work, a lot of commercials. 
I also do. <laughs> here we see. Uh, let's see here. Um, thanks for your time. Uh, let's see. But seriously, what highlight roll-offs do you use uh, as your go-to? So I really, like for nature, I mean, unless the sun is going down, I'm typically in a medium to high contrast, and my roll-off is usually soft unless the sun is, like, striking hard, and then I'll go very soft. Sometimes I, I creep up to hard, but my, my go-to medium and soft and hard and soft is, uh, is how my channel got demonetized. <laughs> Right there. Let's see. Uh, let's. Um, uh, and do you use different settings on different bodies? Uh, no, not anymore. I mean, back when it was it was DSMC one, and I had Dragon Color two and Red Gamma four. That's what I shot with. Uh, but now, I mean, I find Dragon and Komodo. I find them very, very compl comparable. Man, my nose. I'm oh, sorry, my nose is itching. Always does it when I talk too much. Um, very comparable, and I love the the high contrast and medium contrast, and then the, the highlight roll-off. The highlight roll-off is literally one of my favorite things about a RED camera, especially with IPB2, and Graham is a master. He is he is a legend. Don't mess with Graham, but I'm pretty sure it said something else. Um, uh, Nick says, uh, did I just waste money on buying a Red Raven, or is the SMC2 now a good entry point? No, I think it's fine. Uh, and as we talked about this earlier. If you got it for a very low price, uh, much cheaper than, than a Komodo, then, I mean, what's wrong with it? It's, it's a Dragon sensor. It's great. Um, and it all depends. And, and this, is, this is what I, I tell people about uh, buying cameras. When you go to buy a camera... It needs to make sense right then and there. So, I mean, literally when I bought my original Epic, uh, they came out with the DSMC2 really quickly after that. But when I bought it, I made the decision, this is the camera, this is the configuration, this is what makes sense for me. And I bought it and I don't look back. I mean, yeah, it, it stings when the price drops or all like that, but don't look back. Just, just realize it made sense for you then. There's no guarantees in life. So if Raven made sense enough for you to buy a Raven, use it, shoot it, have fun with it. Don't, don't, don't have a fear of being left out. Go shoot FOMO, fear of being, boom, whatever. I'm not cool and hip as they say. Yeah, just, just go, go shoot it. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, Wish you could add that resolution list or remove. Un I think you can. This is this is um, this is on um, on red control. The on here it's different. It's actually set. Let me demonstrate. It's actually set up. To, this is such a kludgy way of doing this. Wrong one. Okay, so on here we set up. I'm trying not to. So we go to project, and up here you have format. And then when you choose format, select, now you have all yours in little subcategories. So you have 8K, you have anamorphic, you have super 35 6K, you have super anamorphic 6 and 7K, you have, you have uh, super 16, 3K, and then you have all formats. So, I mean, they're already, um, I guess I'm doing that. Uh, they're already in kind of a, a, a compacted form there. Um, See here, getting down, getting down. Why? Um, sorry, I missed it. Are you using Red Control app or Full Control? This is Red Control. Red Control is for uh, Komodo and Raptor, uh, and it's it's awesome. Pre-record features, yes, Luca. Pre-record rocks. I was using it last night shooting lightning, and I sat there in my easy chair and I pre-record. I just wait for that lightning and I go boop, got you. Uh, just all night long. It was so much fun. Um, how does the manual focus control feature perform on lenses? Let me point this at something I can't get in trouble for. And um, let's do this. So we'll go to the focus, which is, where's my focus? My focus is right here. And then, where am I, am I on focus? There we go. Oh, that's Iris focus. 
shutter. Oh, we're on auto autofocus stop. There we go. I turn that off. That's why. No, no. I have it off. Have it on because it's electronic. Duh. Here we go. Back to iris. Back to shutter. So there you go. So now I'm doing it. Infinite. Am I? I don't feel like I'm doing it. Autofocus stop. Autofocus start. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Autofocus box. I don't know what I'm doing. I've not used the dial on that, but I do know this. Focus start. Autofocus box. Tap. Am I not in focus? Am I not autofocus? Let's see. I think when I turned it off, I think I messed with it. Yeah, because that's working. So then that's iris. Shutter. Yeah, now, now it's adjusting it. Yeah, when I switched it off, it didn't like it. So there you go. Um, do, 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 prior record already too. Yep, okay, and Clayton, thank you. Thank you so much, Clayton. I, I greatly appreciate the super chat. Uh, I, I, I saw it down there, but I wanted to get through these in order, but thank you so much. Um, I, I really appreciate that. Um, I'm looking forward to your future live streams. Have a good evening. You too. Thank you. If, if you left, I please come back and, and get my thank you. <laughs> um, Joel says, Gemini 5K or Raptor 8K? Both would be downscaled to 4K in post. Which would be cleaner for low light work in the end? Also, how is editing 8K 120? Sounds like 8K 120 GPU. Uh, you know, it's... It's not as bad as I thought. So... 8K 120 did take my MacBook Air M1. Uh, it, it it took it to a, a new place. However, it works. I just have to set the the um, in in Resolve. I just have to set it way down to like a quarter to play it back, uh, and it plays back. It works. Now when you put some grades on it and anything like that, it's 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 rough. My um, my Windows computer, which I do use. Um, is 14 cores overclocked. Give me more air. This thing blasts in my face. <laughs> um, and it has a, uh, a, a GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, and it, it definitely chews through the footage so much better and faster. So the M1 was great uh, with Komodo. I think the M1X from Apple is going to be killer. Uh, but to answer your first part of the question, 5K Gemini to 8K Raptor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say, and this is probably going to start some wars here. Um, I'm going to say the Raptor is probably going to produce a cleaner image. The reason I say that is that you have four times the pixels to take and, and subsample down into a 4K finished product. On top of that, so if anybody knows how, how sensors work, there's a bear pattern, and a bear pattern is it's not every single pixel 8,000 you know, wide or, or you know, and by 4,000 tall. Each pixel can't do red, green, and blue. It does red, blue, and in between are greens. And it, there's there's a specific pattern, and there's there's various ways of doing bear patterns. So you're using red, green, and blue. So when you take all of these pixels. And everybody does this, except a monochrome camera. So when you have 8,000 pixels wide, it's not 8,000 red, green, and blue. It's 8,000 including all the reds, all the greens, and the blues. If you only had a red image, then you're only going to get something like, it's about one-third or a quarter to a third because they, they usually put more green in there because green does luminance. So... When, and where I was going with this is that if you have a 4K sensor, it's not true resolution of 4K of pixels, it's a bared pattern and it gets debared later and compiled into a nice um, uh, image. Uh, dropping for, okay, good. Uh, so when you take 8K 
and you downsample it to um, 4K by using 8K RAW, now you have a true 4K worth of data for red, green, and blue. So your image will be better at 4K from an 8K sensor than it would be 5K to a 4K sensor. And that includes the low light. That's my gut. I mean, there's, there's math in there, but my gut tells me that the Raptor is going to produce a better image at 4K than Jim and I will. And we'll see. Scott's sick voice is blocked up in a world where Raptor and Komodo meet. This is DSMC2. It's dusty, it's old, and it's my workhorse. But this is Raptor, V Raptor. There you go. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, and Jared Landry responding to Nick. Nope, you didn't waste your money on a Raven. Just go watch Fincher's social network, which was shot on Red One. And if you ever feel like you need something more than they have, he's, he's exactly correct. Dragon or Raven, which is a dragon sensor, is a better sensor than what Fincher shot, uh, the social network. And, and social network is a great movie. I still like to watch that one. And Tim is like this. Um, Lucas says, I'm definitely going to keep my DSMC two helium rig and also get a V Raptor as a main camera. I mean, that's a, that's a good combo. I can only afford two. And I feel like this is my combo. This, this, this would be my combo. Will be soon. Um, do to do, um, Nick says, uh, thanks guys. I got two, I got, I got two very cheap as a uh, sticky one in the surf housing. Yep. And the V Raptor came out literally the day after. I mean, literally don't look back, go shoot that thing. Have some fun. Um, how to control the aperture. You control the aperture, uh, on the buttons on the side right here. There's an up and down. Uh, and then also when the monitor ships, you'll be able to do it right on board, which is like the, the DSMC two. I just don't know what the menu looks like on board. Um, PJ says, uh, yeah, I had a bit of a, oh, when uh, Raptor came out because I literally had just gotten Ranger Gemini. Still a lot of FOMO at the moment, but I really like the, the Ranger is a solid, um, solid production camera. And the Gemini has a ton, ton of life with it. I mean, it was, it was, um, it was, uh, well, it was literally Jared when, Right after I bought my Epic Dragon, not this one, DSMC2, um, and they came out with D DSMC2 and Helium came out. Helium, was it Helium that came out? Whatever it was, I, yeah, it was whatever Helium came out and I, I was talking to Jared about it. And I was just, I was like, hey man, what, what's Dragon? And he's like, Dragon has a long life. He said, Dragon is all the way through 2020. And he wasn't wrong. Look at that. I mean, it's it, it just now, just now, is, is now being shown with, with Raptor. So, I mean, and it, it, it isn't suddenly a bad sensor. It's fantastic. It's fan I love Dragon, but I just happen to love Raptor just a, just a wee little bit more. Um, let's see, how to control, let's see. Uh, what about low light? Low light is fantastic. Um, as I was saying earlier, I probably won't use it more than about 4,000 ISO. Uh, again, ISO is, somewhat irrelevant on reds because the only thing that matters is uh, that little meter right there and that right there. If you've got little stop lights right down there, you've got noise. Damn it. And um, I might have to go back and blink that out in the video. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, so ISO doesn't really matter, but at 4,000, because you can boost it, 4,000, you're going to want to clean it up with some denoise. But it's, it's, it's pretty nice. It's definitely better in low light than, than Dragon. Dragon, I'm like 1250, 1600. I, I'm using a lot of denoise. This is just rocking. Um, Ali says, uh, one of the best things I've seen shot on Raven is 2016, the movie. Yeah, there you go. Curtis Boggs, need to borrow a surf housing to shoot some surf stuff here in a feature for a feature Komodo. Yeah. 2020 was going to be my, my, uh, get scuba certified. Got to figure you got to do that voice on your Komodo review intro and <laughs> you're not wrong. Um, is there a huge backlog for the monitor? 
I don't know that answer. That's that's a Jared answer. Uh, Gemini Komodo or one V Raptor rarely shoot. Well, I mean, again, I can answer what's for me. And if I could have a Gemini and a Komodo or a Raptor, I'm probably going to go with that Raptor. Um, I mean, I like dual cameras, but the Raptor checks more boxes for me. But again, you need to make a decision for yourself based upon how you shoot, your styles, what you need. Because just like... People, people, I mean, people buy red ones today and they love them. They don't pay a lot for them, but they, they buy them and they love them because it made sense for them to buy it. Some of them just play with it to tinker, but it's make, make all the determinations for yourself and then make it, make a, this is what I'm going to do and then do it. Doesn't matter what it is, do it and then, and then be happy with it. Don't, don't, um, don't freak out. Uh, talk about Raptors audio in. So I have not done the test with audio yet. I'll be doing those here probably this weekend. Um, and I will let you know, I don't have the audio adapter. You know, I will not be doing an audio test. I don't have the adapter. So I can't tell you. There is no microphone in except for that with that uh, the the little pigtail. Unless unless Graham's sending that with the other stuff he was sending, I don't uh, I don't have that, so I will not be doing a audio test. So I, I have a feeling it's going to be a lot better, just because it has balanced and um, it has uh, the ability to. Uh, balanced and has phantom power um if anyone needs any cards sammy's camera in la has a few in stock are they red ones dustin they need to be the red ones right now because you cannot just buy the uh, the angel bird six, 660 gig cards nikki says curtis i ordered mine from salty surf housings the salties did look cool and i i really dig the custom uh, paint paint job that Jared did for the salty that was that was pretty. Um, they do a red approved Kubota housing compact and above. Yeah, and if I remember correctly, that salty was really affordable. Um, so yeah, that was that was definitely the one I was looking at. Um, Cy, can I order on their website or go by next week? Uh, Cy, please please verify that they are red, not Angel Bird. Um, Jared says, Curtis, you can borrow mine. Ooh, there you go, Curtis. Uh, Gemini, Komodo, or V-Raptor and Pocket 6K Pro. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I would get the V-Raptor and the Pocket 6K Pro. Currently have a Gemini and a Pocket 6K. Probably moving to V-Raptor, but would love to hear your thoughts. I mean, for me, yeah. I mean, the, the Pocket 6K is an okay camera. I don't, I, don't, I don't have any beefs with it. I wish they built them better. I wish, I wish they would... I wish they would build that camera with double the price with a little more ergonomics uh, and then build it in a higher quality and sell it for twice the price. People would still complain about it, but I mean, it would be a fine camera. I don't, I don't know why they built that fat DSLR thing. It's just weird. But I mean, I don't have a problem with, with light magic other than the potato cam. That thing was weird. Um, Dustin says, call, call direct. Um, Curtis says, thanks, Jared. Jared says, email me tomorrow. There you go, Curtis. J surf housing or monitor. Ha <laughs> ha. Jared lands surf housing for Komodo. Sai uh, says, thanks. Dustin, I just ordered one from Red. I will call in the morning and check. Yep. Okay. Uh, and Jared said they had, a, they had stock of the cards. So you can order from Red. Um, is that a port keys monitor? How do you like it? I have a port keys. Um, it is over there at the moment. This is the OCG7. I like it. It's super, super bright. Uh, the um, the port keys is great. It's not quite as bright as this, but it's five inch, so it's smaller and it fits it fits better on uh, Komodo. Um, the reason I tend to prefer using the OC over the 
port keys has nothing to do with the quality of either monitor. It's a hundred percent to do with I'm old and this is bigger for my old eyes. I'm not that old, but yep. Curtis says, Scott, I can send you one. That, that'd be cool. I, I, I can, I can uh, give you a UPS to, to do that. Um, Red Komodo noise performance compared to Dragon Sensor. Uh, Red Komodo is cleaner. Red Komodo is definitely cleaner. I, I, can, I can shoot this at 2000 and feel really good about it. Um, uh, Curtis, I have audio cables coming next Thursday. Oh, cool. Uh, Jared Land, well, if it's, it's not a surf splash housing, it's the Gates proper housing. Ooh, wow. Dustin, yes, confirmed that they are red Angel Bird cards. There you go. Okay. Well, and red has a, a big stock of them too. Jared, well, that I need to shoot some yep, 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 mermaids. <laughs> uh, we may be out of cars now after the live chat. <laughs> Happy to do my part. Um, let's see here. And gone. Yeah, Tim. That is kind of funny. That would be hilarious. I think, Jared, we just schedule one of these for once a month. Whenever you get some stock, we'll just blow the we'll blow them out. Uh, let's see here, Leonardo laughing. Um, the philosophy on decision making you are dropping on this is money. Well, thank you. I mean, I, I get I get sad when people tell people what to do um, because I'm different. You're different. What I shoot is different than what you shoot. I mean, I literally look at Raptor and all I can see is an elk walking in slow motion, 8K, 120 frames a second in focus, looking sharp and snazzy at sunset. And I'm just, just patting myself on the back, laughing and smiling to my wife. I mean, it's, that's what I see when I see Raptor. But that may not be you. You may say, no, 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 I'm shooting fashion on, on a well-lit set. Uh, and we're moving around, we're not doing slow motion, we're just running around, in which case, there's a lot of cameras that, that fit that. So you gotta make your decision for yourself. And it's, it's gotta be something that makes sense for you. And then you gotta stick with it and just, just go with it. Cause just, who cares? You made your decision. It's cool. Um, Jared says, ha ha ha, Scott, we need to make you a dealer. <laughs> that would be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. Um, Let's see here. Nikki says, uh, I'm not fully across the SMC3, but in general, is there a move away from the brain plus modules architecture? Uh, well, I don't think that's accurate, uh, Nick, because they are building some modules for this one. They showed them on the live stream. Um, and there's like all kinds of like swoopy, swoopy, that's a term. Um, there's all kinds of like add-on modules that bolt onto the side that, that are going to do a lot of cool stuff. So I don't think they're going to be like full DSMC2 modules on the back with you know giant thing, but I don't know either. You know, Jared, he's probably got like 12 prototypes sitting on his little desk right, or his little table right now. Um, and then Jared's over there going, <laughs> Leonardo says, totally love the mindset of making a decision. Buy it and be happy. Sometimes you just need to be kidding. Exactly. Do what you intended. So like when I got the, the Epic and I bought it for nature because I knew 6K. I mean, I mean, I bought, I went from a Canon C100. I, I, I upgraded from C100 to Epic Dragon. Yeah. Uh, but I did it because I, I went past my C100, way, way past it. And I knew I wanted to go to a higher resolution. Why not just go to the best? Just, just go to the best. And I did. And DSMC2 came out, and I'm like, I love Dragon. I love Dragon. I mean, you could, you could ask Jared. He would literally go, when are you upgrading? I'm like, I like my Dragon. I like it. it took me destroying it, but. <laughs> um, let's see here. Jared led 13. <laughs> 13 prototypes sitting on his table. All right, we're three hours in. Who's got more questions? I'm, I'm still good to go. Cynthia kindly came in here and refilled my beverage. She, she does that on the live streams, and it's way past her bedtime. She, uh, but she came in, she snuck around, refilled it, and, and so I'm good to go for a little bit. I can still do movie guy voice if I want. Future-proof your footage shooting high res, yeah? You can always go back and uh, remaster projects. And, and a footage for clients later, uh, all with the new culture. So, 
think of it like um, think of it like going on a, on a a specialized diet. So, I mean, people are like, well, don't do that diet. That diet's bad for you. Okay, well, if I do that diet and I lose weight, but I don't like the diet, I can always gain the weight back. It's pretty easy to do that. Same thing with the red. You could always go keep the high resolution or you can go back to that low resolution if it, if it makes you happy. If, if your client says, we only need 1080, 1080p, perfect. Guess what 8K does to 1080? <laughs> yeah, 16 times the pixels going in to a 1080. What do you think is going to provide a good, clean image? 16 pixels for every one or one? There you go. Um, good point, Tim. There you go. Yep. It's, uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. And the, the other, the other fun thing with red and God love them for this is that they may stop selling DSMC ones and DSMC twos, but they don't stop supporting it in the software. It just keeps, I mean, IPP two. Yeah. They can't put it in, uh, the DSMC one camera. It doesn't have enough horsepower, but you can add it in post because it's a raw workflow and it's real raw. It's, it's amazing. So you, everything that they do, every color science shift that they do, every new, the, the D mosaic that is now in the beta version of Red Cine X, which I'm just now starting to play. Thank you, Phil, for tempting me and Tim for telling me and Graham for explaining it to me. Um, the D mosaic is pretty slick. And guess what? It works with everything that you shot all the way back to the beginning. It's, it's quite amazing. Um, Leonardo says, uh, y'all West Coast people be living good. <laughs> it's almost 1 a.m. on the East Coast. And Scott's it's like, he can just keep going for a while. It's long past. Yeah, I mean, I, I can do this. The only problem comes when uh, when I have to stop and make a, a 10-1. That's, that's when things start getting sketchy. Um, Jared, remember when we started at 4K and a lot of people were saying, you never need, I mean, you're right. You're right. It's, uh, and, and, and see, when I, when I, I originally was going to buy the red one, I was, I was so on the fence with the red one because this was 2006, I think I ended up buying the, the Panasonic HVX 200, but the, 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 the price on, on the red one kept going up as the more modules and the more expansion and everything that I needed was, was, well, not modules, but everything that I needed to make it work started hitting my pocketbook harder and harder. But I knew then that 4K was far, far better. Even though people say, you don't need it. It's not that I don't need it, but if I shoot it, then I'll always have it in the future. And it, I mean, yeah, 4K, people are like, you don't need 4K. Just like a lot of other cameras that are about to be released by other manufacturers. I keep laughing and laughing when, when those that said resolution doesn't matter, you, they don't need it. We'll see about that. We'll see what they do. Because red, always ahead. Wow, that rhymes. New slogan, trademark. Um, crazy ahead of how, yeah. Yeah, it, it was, it was, Ollie, it was, it was hilarious. Like, it didn't seem long. 4K, then 5K, then 6K. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And everybody else is still like, here's our new beautiful 2K camera. Red's like, we got six. We got 6K. Um, Luca, love that. that. <laughs> um, Tim says, I know someone last year who did a huge budget project just because he shoots on red since DSMC1. And with COVID, he was able to pitch the client an entire video series using old footage. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. Curtis says, Jared, I remember that. Who needs 4K? I need more Ks. I say all the Ks. All the Ks. Uh, Rob says, I'm right there with you on the elk. I just want to get, get moose rut before it's over. Jared, send Adorama some inventory. <laughs> I'm sure he's sending them as fast as possible. And, and moose, moose, moose and bear. Although bear, bear actually... Bear came back for me. Um, moose, I've only got one. Um, I've got a couple of moose, but they they all they know how to hide so well. 
I was just hoping I had my, I didn't have it. I got, oh, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the bear. That's literally the bear. Oh, apparently I'm playing that. So this, this little guy here, this is a, a, a grizzly. I was 125 yards away, 1,200 millimeters. And this little guy, a baby grizzly, let me play that again. Um, he just climbs up in this tree and starts doing the most insanely hilarious kid maneuvers. He, he's like, Ugh! he just puts his hand over his, his body. He's like eating the bark and just, just hanging out. And it just, that's the stuff that, that, I, that I live for right there. I got 15 minutes of him sitting in that tree. 15 minutes. And I got to tell you, I was so high on life at that moment. It was, it was great. I can't wait to go back up there. Um, Tim's like, yeah, they're about to eat crow. They're, not, they're just going to say they never said that. I never said that. You might be thinking of someone else that said that. Um, Nick says, thanks guys. Long shot. Anyone on or know anyone in the East of England moving there? Uh, once Australia opens up, uh, borders and let me out keen to connect with community members there. I know, um, I know quite a few people over there. There's a lot of people. There's some, there's some great people. Um, Captain Fox says 12 K Ursa greater than eight K Raptor. I'd put money that you're wrong. Uh, go look at that 12K. Go, go Pixel Peep. I know Jared's like, oh, God, please don't say Pixel Peep. Oh, Lord. Go, uh, go, go take a sneaky peek at that 12K on that. Uh, you're not delivering that to a client. Well, not a good client. Um, the, uh, now, what I will say with the, I, I feel like the 12K Ursa was completely marketed wrong. That should be a 4K camera. Because with 12K, again, subsampling down to 8K, it produces a phenomenal 4K image. But no, not 12K. Mm. And even the 8K is. Mm. But we'll see. There'll be plenty of tests coming up really soon. I mean, if the 12K Ursa was so great, why is the price half? I'm not pooping on, on Ursa. It's, it's a fine camera, it's got some cool features, but. Uh, it, it ain't a red. Uh, Curtis says, Scott's high. Yeah, no. If, if anybody knows Scott, you know that ain't right. High on life, though. I was so happy. So, all right, who's got more questions? Who's got more questions? Three hours, 17 minutes, and two seconds. Let's keep those questions going. Throw them in there. Just bam, 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 rapid fire. Kind of like the autofocus on the brand new Red Raptor. Boom, rapid fire. Boom, rapid fire. So fast, so fast. Uh, any other questions on the Raptor uh, menu, red control? Obviously, I don't know how to use the focus yet on the red control. I don't, I don't pull focus that way. I'm a manual focus guy. Um, any other questions on Raptor configuration or weight or anything like that? Ask away. Put them in the questions. Uh, or put them in the deal down there. Komodo. I, Jared, I need a, I need a blue Raptor. I, I need a blue. This, this blue is. It is so, so me. <laughs> Tim, how many questions have you answered versus Jerry? I, I, I feel like it's an unfair thing because I would also answer questions that Jared's answering. But ultimately, Jared's answers are de facto. My answers are, this is what I've learned. This is what I've seen. This is what I know so far. So Jared wins. Um, what base plate are you using? This is the Kessler Quick Stand. Uh, it is my absolute, right now the, the rods are mounted upside down. Um, my absolute favorite um, stand because, I mean, your camera, it's Arca Swiss here in the middle, and then it's got four, four little feet. You set it down, and your camera is stable. You don't have to worry about it knocking over. It's, it is amazing. I uh, absolutely love the Kessler Quick Play. And, and I have an affiliate for, for uh, Kessler. So if you do want to order anything, please just use the link down below. I mean, it helps. I appreciate it. Um, Ryan says, okay, I got one. Say someone was doing a documentary next year. Would you feel comfortable using only RF lens 
Even filming in Netflix? Yeah. Yeah, I would. RF has got some, well, I mean, it depends on the lens, but I mean, there are some fantastically good RF lenses out there. Canon, Canon doesn't make, with, with their high-end glass, they don't make crap glass. They make really good glass. And with the RF and the focus and the, the autofocus and now the image stabilization, um, it is, uh, yeah, absolutely I would. I mean, I, I shoot a lot of stuff when I get my Raptor. I won't be using this Sigma, but I mean, Sigma 18 to 35 is still one of my absolute favorites on this and on Komodo. I like the Tequinas as well. I mean, I've got Tequina on here. Um, woo. My only, my only problem now is that I got to get out of the Super 35 game because this, when, when I get my Raptor, it's full frame and I'm going to shoot it full frame because I'm me. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm going to be getting rid of all my Super 35 glass. I mean, this, this shoots Super 35, but it will absolutely use full frame. So before I've always been a um, Super 35 guy. Do, do, do. Um, Curtis says, sorry, everyone. Got to get to bed. Long day tomorrow. But thank you, Scott, Jared, Tim, Phil, all the good stuff. Curtis, you have a good evening, buddy. Tim says, incredible deep dive for such a short time with the camera in your hands. Congrats. Well, thank you. I, You know me. I absorb everything I touch. Um, except for those drugs. I don't do that. Um, can you repaint a DSMC2, DSMC3 body? I mean, you could. But you won't have a warranty. Um, uh, and yeah, I mean, just, just, just shoot the one you got. And, and I don't know about those wraps either. Those wraps are a little weird. They look, I mean, I, I know, I know people like style, but oh, try to be not to cough in people's faces, literally in your faces. Um, I mean, it, it kind of shocked me when I saw a blue Komodo out there that wasn't one of the blues that were out there. I was just like, oh, he made more. Cool. <laughs> but it was a wrap. I thought that was kind of, I was like, okay, everybody can have a blue one now. Nah, it's, not, it's not that exclusive. But, I mean, it's, uh, the, wraps, the wraps look weird. I don't, I don't know about that. Um... Do do do. Good night, Curtis. Says Tim. Curtis says, "Ooh, Scott, need to check that out." I don't know what you're checking out. I don't know. <laughs> the delay is always horrible. Uh, Nick says, uh, "Yes, checking out the link." Yes, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, moose are finicky. Yeah, the moose are smart. There, and I was in Rocky Mountain National Park, and there was a moose there. I mean, it was like one of those moose jams. Cars everywhere, and I'm like, "Where the heck is he?" And you literally had like a two foot box that you could be in vertical and horizontal to put the cameras. I had to wait for someone to walk away so I could get my camera there and shoot through all these leaves, through these openings to get the moose. And he just sat, sat there, let's see if I have the, nope, can't show that. Um, do I have the moose? Oh, I have the moose. Oh, quit. Oh, here we go. Okay. There's the moose. That is the extent that I got the moose. That turkey stood there chewing his cud for like an hour. And I was there filming it. He never turned his head towards me. Not once. That's a turkey for you. But that elk... He just walked right up to the van. <laughs> My wife's like, ooh, 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 ooh. And, and we got it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, and then there was this guy. That was mama to that baby. And then uh, that's the white, the white baby there. Um, on the uh, on the left, and then the other baby was was just brown grizzly, and then there's Mama standing up, and then them playing with each other. They're, they're having a good time, little smiles on their faces. And then one of my favorite shots: sometimes a bear just has to stop and smell the the huckleberries. <laughs> 
God, that was a good trip. I love that. Okay, let's see. Back to the questions here. Um, um, where are we? Okay, yeah. Um, Nick says, uh, can the Raptor fly on a Ronin S2? Yes, it can. Um, Matthew Stanley did it, and uh, he shared uh, a cool video of him walking around with it. It was, it was pretty wild on the, the Red V Raptor DSMC3 users Facebook group. Join that group. It's a good group. Um, Ryan says, uh, I'm really excited to see how the RF 85 and 50 1.2 look on the Raptor. Plus, I've heard the 35 is coming out by the end of the year. Tim, do you have the 85? I know you have the, the 28 to 70 F2. How's that, how's that working on it? Have you got it plugged in yet? You probably didn't. Tim's like, I, I, only, I only shot it once. Um, Leonardo says, so shooting Vista Vision allows shallower depth of field on wider lenses. But if you shoot in 6K, do you still get the same large format look benefit with the crop? So, so you get a wider field of view compared to Super 35. So if you shoot a 50 on Super 35, then it will actually... Um, it will actually feel like, um, let, me, let me get the brain right. So it will actually, f the 50 on a full frame will feel like a 35 on the, um, the Komodo. Is that right? 35 on Komodo? Yes. So 35 on Komodo will feel like a 50 on the Raptor. So when you put a 35 on Raptor, it's even wider and it'll feel even, even grander. So when you crop in, you're literally making the sensor smaller and thus uh, changing the field of view. Um, so when you shoot 6K, it's gonna be super 35. Well, I think it's 5K. Is it 5K? I don't know, I have to look at Phil's chart. Uh, it's between five and 6K gives you a true super 35 on, on Monstro and on um, Raptor, V-Raptor. I keep saying it, it's V-Raptor. Um, so, yeah. Um, Nick says, thanks, Tim. Rob says, is autofocus noticeably different than Komodo? Yes, it's faster. We just did a live demo, and I'm happy to do it again. It is noticeably faster as long as Scott's in the right modes. Hold on, let me switch. I got to switch this to 6K here. Not because of autofocus, but because I have to hide stuff in my room and I need the zoom. Okay, so let's see if we're... I need to start my autofocus. Where's my autofocus? Where's... I'm gonna start my autofocus, start. Autofocus. There we go. What do I need to do? Did I switch that? Let me just turn it off. Turn it back. There we go. Autofocus is back on. There we go. So now, boop. There we go. There we go. Boop. Boop. Okay. So let's go here. Wrong one. Here we go. So we're pointed here, boop, boop, boop. There's the toilet. Oh, it's a little dark in there. Boop. Come back to here. It's really fast. And then, I mean, that is pretty freaking noticeable. Um, okay, I'll put this right here. <clears throat> Okay, uh, doo -doop -doo -doop -doop -tim -tim. I got six moose in one day north of us. Did you? Dang, dang, bro. You didn't share those pictures with me. You know I love me some moose. Uh, we used it on Raptor. You have there at Cinegear. <laughs> okay, um, you talking about Walden, Colorado. Did you go recently? I'm going to go next week for moose. Want to come, Scott? I do want to come, but I have a job that has a deadline by next Friday. And boy, boy, that would be a good excuse. I'd be like, hey, Graham, can I, can I return this like in person? Let me just go through Estes Park. I would, I would totally go 
would totally go. Um, but yeah, I have a job that, that I, is due next Friday and I got to do it. Plus I got to get all of these great Raptor reviews out for everybody. Um, let's see here. Uh, this was great, man. Appreciate you doing this and answering our questions. I mean, thank Jared too, because uh, I had no idea who's going to be on here. And I mean, he's just kind of a rock star in the background there typing away. Um, Leonardo, people complain, and also Tim and Phil and, and everybody else helping out. And then Graham at, at Breakthrough uh, Filters for loaning this thing to me and trusting me with his baby. Um, people complain about the crop and Scott here using a crop to his advantage, hiding those embargo packages. <laughs> well, I mean, in fairness, this is also a uh, uh, Super 35 lens. But yeah, I need it. What I I noticed, I'm not used to um, the full frame. So I'm used to literally everything I show around here on DSMC2 and Komodo. It's all Super 35. So I know I can put this lens on there and zoom around. I put it on here and it's like, here's the entire wall. I'm, oh, oh, let me change that. Let me change that. <laughs> um, Tim says, I drove up to Gould, Colorado, and then drove east back to Fort Collins. Yeah, I learned how to get through the park at Rocky Mountain, because Rocky Mountain is a timed entry. So all you have to do is go to the east entrance before 5 a.m. So what we did, I mean, we have a van, an adventure van, and wife and I, we got up, we, we slept up on a mountain. I can't believe the van got up there uh, until 3.30 in the morning. And then we drove down and got into the park uh, we got into the park about four and we drove to the parking lot in the Bear, Bear Lake area and then we decided to sleep. When we got to the parking lot, there were already 10 people in the parking lot suiting up and, and going to climb and, and going for a hike. And before the sun came up, the entire parking lot was full. So there's, there's your trick uh, until it's not. Um, Phil said around 5.5 for Super 35. There you go, 5K max width. Thank you, Nick. Um, we spent the entire day driving around looking for moose. Six sounds like a lot, but I got to tell you, we saw more elk. No, so elk, elk cracked me up there. Uh, we were we were way up at the very top, um, like on the, the high part of the overpass, which is the highest drive there. Um, and I was like, well, uh, I was like, there's, there's, there's no chance we're going to see any elk up here. It's not likely to happen. And we're driving up there and literally on the side of the road in the one part where you can't pull off because it's like rock and, and clear. There were hundreds and hundreds of elk on the side, just like down on the, the hill. And we, we drove for about a mile before we could get to a spot where I could stop. And there was, there was no way. It was fun. I, I do love me some elk. Those they're pretty. Plus that call. Woo. I got that. I went uh, with my, my friend Bill to, um, it was North Carolina or, or some, uh, maybe it's the Smoky Mountain. Somewhere over there in the east, east part of Tennessee, uh, there's an elk refuge uh, in one of the national parks. I think it was Smoky Mountain National Park. Maybe. I hope so. And I mean, there are elk everywhere. And they were just like ready to... They were ready for rut. They were calling it. It was, it was so cool. All right, who's got more questions? Anybody got more questions? Come on, I'm good to go. Man, the live stream is doing great. I've never had such a clean live stream. That's cool. Who's, uh, who's got questions? You got questions, we got answers. I still have half a glass left. So far, the longest live stream, I think, was the Diamond Brothers. We did that five hours. Uh, Ali, you're the official time observer. What, uh, what was the longest live stream I had, uh, had accomplished? Uh, I think it was the Diamond Brothers at like five hours and eight minutes. I know Charles Pappert wants to, uh, wants to beat that record and we're going to, we're going to drink it as we go. So it might get crazy when we do that one. Um, anybody else got any questions? It's getting kind of, getting kind of quiet in there. Man, I'm, I mean, if everybody's done, we can wrap it up. Or if people got more questions, I'm happy to keep going. I got no, no. I mean, I have fun this way. It gives me, uh, gives me something to do when, when I would just be back there playing, <laughs> playing motion control, breaking my scotch glasses. My Macallan 17 fake, fake scotch. Um, is it still going? It's still going, right? 
No one's. Is the is it still working? Now it's not saying anything. That's weird. Why don't y'all at least chat something so I know that it's still working? Because it doesn't. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. So it's there. Okay, right. so it's not me. All right, cool. Um, it's working. Yay. Okay. I mean, does anybody have any more questions? I'm. I mean, uh, otherwise we can we can wrap it up. <laughs> Booby. Um, that's how you scare a bee. <laughs> well, who's got questions? Come on, throw them out there. What do they say? Smoke them if you got them. I don't think they say that anymore. Um, well, okay. Well, we'll just uh, we'll wrap it up. Uh, I will be doing another one of these live streams with with Jared. He said he would uh, he would get on, and we'll have him on, so he could just literally just sit there and answer questions, and I'll go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, this guy, mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, maybe you should ask us questions about Raptor. <laughs> I don't have any questions right now, other than I don't know how to use the autofocus scroll thing on on the red control. Um, yeah, okay. Well, so as always, if you have any questions after the fact, let's say, wait, RF2EF speed booster compatible? Um, I don't see how you would get away with that uh, with full frame. I don't know of a speed booster that's full frame to medium format. I mean, if there was, there would be, but yeah, not really. But, okay, as always, if you have any questions, put them down below, even after the fact. Um, uh, support me with any of the links down below, all that good stuff. If you're looking for any Kessler gear, use my affiliate link down there. I mean, if you have any questions, just reach out. Put them in the comments. I, I always answer them. Um, uh, lower crops, it should be. Um, it should. I mean, but why would you do that? Why would you? Why would you take the Raptor and go Super Thirty Five and then put a uh, speed booster on it? What would be the benefit? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what that would be. Um, but yeah, uh, all the love, all the good stuff. Subscribe, thumbs up, share, tell everybody, tell all your friends, and thank you, Jared, for being on here. I really appreciate it. You, you really, you really helped uh, answer a, a ton of questions, and 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 hopefully we got the right answers into the right hands of the right people. And uh, yeah, as always, as I like to leave it. Don't let your passion center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. Oh, yeah. In a world where Scott waits 20 seconds so he can put an end card on his YouTube, he is sitting here alone, staring into the abyss with a deep, raspy voice. For 2K or 4K slow-mo using better optics center? I don't know. I don't know, Tim. I don't think it... I don't think it I don't know. I mean, I guess you're, you're stretching it. That's about it. All right. Goodbye.